hello 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 and welcome to the stream everyone oh my gosh i am so excited for today ladies and gentlemen we are finally here performing for you uh hey uh i accidentally pressed the add button which i knew i was going to do when i pressed the unmute because my thumbs are so fat so we're going to do a quick minute of talk so people don't miss out the introduction of players as well as that. A an absolute stellar beginning for a campaign, ladies and gentlemen, right there. <laughs> I know. Just, 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 just make sure you tell everyone what an amazing time we are. Welcome to the Arcane Academy. Welcome to our premiere campaign of the world of IO. I am absolutely so excited for what we are about to do here today. We're going to be joined by some amazing players that are going to go on an absolutely fantastic and wonderful, wonderful journey over into the Ishtar Mountains, where the Exodus Academy resides. These level two wizards uh, will be learning all sorts of things from spellcraft, from alchemy, from rune scribing, and much, much more. A couple of things of note before we begin and bring everybody on here. Uh, if you haven't seen my DMing style and my style of DMing and playing D&D, there's going to be a lot of weird, strange custom stuff that's going to be tossed over to you. So the, for those rule, uh, those rule wizards and scholars that are currently in the audience that are, are ready to page through the player's handbook and go, but DM! That, I don't know where that is. Uh, there might be some homebrew and custom stuff. <laughs> Anyone, any backseat DMers right there, relax and calm yourselves as we're about to go on an amazing journey that I hope you guys uh, enjoy. All right. So with that, let us head over to our players, shall we? Oh boy just gotta uh. hello hello everybody Hi. whoa whoa how's hello, it going i uh i i pressed the add button by mistake like <laughs> like right right when i was unmuting i was like all right let's begin this adventure and i was gonna take us all the way in and immediately dive in and then it said uh minute and a half ad playing right oh, now and i God. and i went well nice well okay all right what what is this what who is our sponsor then what is this uh this whole series brought to you uh, by? Whatever, I, I don't know whatever, whatever ad you rolled that's that is that's, it that's who's sponsoring <laughs> i don't know chat yeah. what uh what ads did you guys see i something Cocaine? gamer related i hope Co like oh, Co like, Co uh, oh the, the tide battle Coca station thing oh my gosh <laughs> oh lord all right well let's i mean let's let's just jump into it i'm very excited to be dm you guys say what 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 Wait, someone chat said audible three times <laughs> coming back up. <laughs> um all right well let's uh go ahead and just start right in uh how's the the audio for you guys sound pretty good chat does everyone sound all right do we need to adjust any audio levels because i'm pretty much going to be focusing on on these fine folks once we finally do begin the game Audio's good. Cool. Audio good. Hello. They're Hi. a tiny bit quiet. See, I was thinking they're a tiny bit quiet. Hold on. I'm going to eh, give me that mixer options. Hog. People want to hear Kraken's beautiful Joe. voice. New oh, Joe. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> no bully. Yeah. Brett, you no bully. Easy there. Easy. He's going to be bullied a lot in this once you meet his yeah. uh, his character. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So don't. Yeah. Valid. He lives for it. Yeah, it that's is. He, that is him. Uh, all right. I turned everyone up just a little bit, so hopefully that's good. I'm going to, of course, be the loudest person here because, <laughs> you know, what? That's that's just who I am. That's an you. extremely loud yeah. person. That's that's yeah. me. That's me. Um, it's a me. It's a me. All right. <laughs> Serious time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get into it. So. Quick question before we get into it. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally slipped. And I was like, I'm in it. DM mode. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes, Craig. Are we going to get music that we can listen to? Uh, or is it going to be playing through Roll20? It's going to be playing it's through Roll20. Roll20. 
Oh, what? That's I plan. Yeah. Oh, That's I your tapped into uh, it. <laughs> uh, DM. I'm sorry. Continue, DM. <laughs> That's fine. It's totally cool. I want to make sure everything's situated because you know me. I love my music. I want those vibes. I want you guys to really fall into the world of Vio specifically. So, hashtag All right. Vio. Bzz. That was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. oh. Everyone gets one. Okay. Uh, Everyone gets Bree? one per Pinch? campaign, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone gets one per D and D campaign, and you spent it. Congratulations. Oh, God damn it! I really blew my load early. Okay. <laughs> that was the best of us. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Everyone with the DM. Yes. All right. <clears throat> All right. Our adventure starts. We did a session zero over in the Arch City of Brisbane uh, before we came into here in session one. Um, as you all know, and for our viewers that don't know, overcrowded with potential, not only is the city a, a rural development, but many fledgling wizards get their start here, simply because of the vicinity to a certain place of higher learning, the Exodus Academy. Yes, the Exodus Academy has been teaching new wizards to become trained magisters for quite some time. It is the premier academy of higher learning for those wishing to seek knowledge of the arcane arts in Ishtar. If not, the entire world... Avaya. Today is an especially exciting day, as the airship Delgado will be departing from the city of Brisbane, the passengers being first-tier wizards who will be traveling over the Ishtar Mountains to the Exodus Academy. The ship itself, as you enter, are filled with a variety of emotions. Excitement, anxiety, joyfulness, dread. A new journey awaits those that seeks its academia. The airship Delgado is continuously refur uh, continuously refurbished uh, dirigible, as you see the quality uh, when you first walk in. Funded out of the generous pockets of the city of Brisbane. Run by mages that back up as both engineers and spellcasters, since the airship Delgado runs both on steam power and magic. In the center, as you are entering in, uh, is a shield guardian that stands tall, functions both as a guide to the students that have questions about the ship and as protector if something more unfortunate were to happen. Uh, roll initiative. Well, uh, initiative. Uh, what? Everyone roll, a everyone roll a d20, please. <laughs> oh. Ooh, baby. Not yeah, you 20. Know. Wow, look at you. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, Eleonora. Uh-huh. You may enter... Uh, over in this part of the ship. Do you see where I'm pointing? Uh, we see the white screen. Refresh roll 20. Yeah, I have a white yeah, screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I haven't. I, My I, eyes. I, no, I, 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 no, you're good. I genuinely haven't done uh, roll 20 in quite some time. Uh, let me go and move you guys over. Oh, Pog, oh there we go. hello. Hello. Yeah, there it is. All right, where am I going? <laughs> uh, right over, right over here. Yes. Slow and wow. steady. Slow and steady. <laughs> You're, you've fallen off the ship. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Eleonora enters. Um, and the shield guardian chimes in, uh, beginning to, to speak to you. Let me see here. Welcome to the airship Delgado, students. Please identify yourself, and then carefully go to your to your assigned city. Uh, she's gonna step forward. Eleonora Mordov. And uh, take this opportunity. I just realized I messed up something. That's fine. Uh, you may also take this opportunity, Bree, to introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your character to the yes to the chat. So I am playing Eleonora Mordov. Uh, she's about five foot six, slender, super pale, uh, piercing red eyes with silvery hair. And she is from a very wealthy family that expects nothing but perfection out of her. And she carries herself as she's better than everyone around her because, of course, she is. And she's quite snippety and curt. And she has a familiar that is a white ferret, and her name is Lumi. Aww. Precious yeah. little ferret. Um, this is going to alarm everyone because the the shield guardian was supposed to speak with a altered voice. So uh, prepare <laughs> yourself now for the the sudden change in voice. All right, perfect. <laughs> Brace yourself. Thank you, Eleonora. Please head over to one oh. A. 
We will be departing shortly. You should make that your normal voice, dude. That's, That's really voice. nice. I, I do like that more than your voice. Oh, <laughs> great! <laughs> Not a good start with your DM, guys. Uh, I mean, I mean... Uh, <laughs> everything you, want, you, want. you know what, Tremor? Tremor, you're next. Get on over here. Uh, <laughs> shuffles feet. <laughs> eh. Welcome to the Airship Delgado student. Please identify yourself and then carefully go to your science team. Uh, uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Kraken, and your character? I'm a uh, trimmer cushions. I'm uh, five foot five. Uh, I'm, short. I'm a little young, a little small looking, but man, you don't want to cross me because I uh, I pack a punch. OK, um, I have a uh, olive colored skin and kind of, uh, you know, Dirty, blonde, brown hair. Think like Prince of Persia, but a child. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, <clears throat> uh, Chad, I'm not introducing myself to the robot. I'm introducing myself to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chad, keep up. <laughs> Thank you for introducing yourself to me, the Shield Guardian Tremor. Please head over to 1A. We'll be departing shortly. All right, Tremor's going to shuffle over, like, you know, feet barely making over the ground. You know, he's, like, almost fucking just sliding on the floor. And he opens the door and sees uh, Eleonora, and he's lets out a little... <sighs> and sits as far away as possible. She doesn't even flinch, and she uh, continues looking out the window. Um, Gideon, uh, how do I? How do I? How did I get? Oh yeah, you're new to roll twenty. That's fine. Um, yeah, go over to the third tab, and you should see a, a section called characters, and you sh your name should be there. Um, over on the right side of the roll twenty. So go to the eye. The eye. Uh, no, the one right before the eye. Okay, that's my second. Oh, I see. And then I can drag him. Yeah, you can oh! drag him. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Okay. Awesome. And you cool. can like uh, walk right over there. Okay. Can I go closer? Yeah. Okay. Welcome um, to the airship Delgado. Please identify yourself. Uh, introduce My name's yourself. Gideon. Gideon Snowfall. Uh, and Gideon, the best way I could describe his personality is probably if anyone knows, well, I haven't watched the show in forever, but anyone, watch, anyone has ever seen Naruto, he is a combination of like Shikamaru and Kiba. So he is... Uh, he's laid back, but not in like a what a drag kind of way. He is laid back in the sense that he thinks people takes take life a little too seriously, and uh, he's he's kind of just a good boy. He's tall. He's like six. He's like six foot. I guess he's average height. Mm -hmm. uh, brownish hair, uh, facial hair as well, and he looks he looks way more stern than he actually is, and that's kind of due to um, his upbringing. So. Okay. Thank you, Gideon. Please head over to 1A. We will be departing shortly. And he sits right there. And finally, uh, we have ourselves uh, Al. Approach the shield guardian, student, and introduce yourself. Greetings, I'm Al Doris Thalarian. <laughs> and Al Doris comes from a wealthy family himself. Uh, the Thalarian family, and they're a very strict family. Think of the kind of like the Malfoys, but if their son was Ron Weasley, um, he's <laughs> about as excitable as the color gray, and he uh, <laughs> enjoys reading rocks and the pleasantries of history. Um, and he's quite a relaxed character, but also he does take life pretty seriously. Also, him and Eleanor so, are neighbors. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we learned that they have literally They're grown up next to each other, neighbors. and she never met him. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, was. <laughs> he he doesn't like to leave his house much, but he knows everything about the academy. He needs to know. <clears throat> Which direction? Thank you, Aldoris. Please head over to one A. We will be departing shortly. Ah, very well. Uh, Brett, which which way does the airship go? Is it like which way does it? It's heading north. How like on it? It's heading northwest. Yeah. Oh, oh, where's where's like the front and the back? You're yeah. heading towards the back yeah. right now, currently. Okay, 
Yeah, he wouldn't want to sit uh, with his back going backwards. You know, like on a tram. <laughs> <laughs> sits next to him. Cozy up next to him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. Um, yeah, everyone's nice and comfy in their their compartment right now. Uh, well cushioned uh, couches with a well upholstered uh, carpet. Uh, over here, I know the map shows wood, uh, but you actually have windows where you can peek outside to the bustling streets of Brisbane. Um. Now that's everyone is uh, seated. What's 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 everyone kind of doing right now? You, you didn't want to take the open seat over there. No, thank you. He's just staring forward. He's not looking out the win window. But staring forward's right at Eleanor. He's staring at Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of staring past her, but it does look like to her that he's staring at her. Jesus. <laughs> Discord cut out. You gotta go again. You, you've currently got outdoors just staring directly towards you, <laughs> but he's kind of looking past you at the, uh, at the, just All the right. chair. She's just gonna avoid his gaze, but then shoot him like a dirty glare, like, can I help you? With what? You're staring at me, like, intensely. I'm not staring at you, I'm staring past you. <laughs> Would you like Whatever. me to avert my gaze? No, it's fine, it's fine. Very well. <clears throat> She's gonna like adjust her posture very upright and stare out the window some more. Um, that's uh, kind of a weird question, but does does Al blink? Um, only like, probably like every 10 seconds on the dot. <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, it's like, it's like about. awkward. <laughs> Oh my God, uh, I was going to look towards Gideon. <clears throat> Would you like to trade seats? You seem interested in the window. Uh, I'm, I mean, if you're comfortable, I'm, I'm fine. I don't, I don't need the window. Very well. Thank you. Uh, you and I, I, I like, I want to like lean over to Al, and, and you don't have to lean you're far. Just, you're, you're, star <laughs> you're staring intently at her. Do you, uh, you guys have history? <laughs> oh God. What do you mean by this? I mean, do you guys... I know I saw you back when I tried to deck that arrogant bastard, but... Guys... Is it like, you guys... Are, are, you, are you together? Yes, we came here together. You can sit can next I, to her. You can sit can next I to her. Can I this? I don't mind to sit. So, Yeah, how loud is everyone being right now? Kid, kid, uh, I hear this. My, yeah. my point was to be, like, discreet, but I don't know about Al. I don't no, think Al's capable of discretion. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> he doesn't see the uncomfortableness of this. Um, I don't like to sit on that sign. Oh, because the shit. Okay, all right. Never mind then. I'll. I'm just saying, life's too short, you know. Perhaps. <laughs> Al uh, <laughs> steps up and he walks around to sit right next to. In the <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. Tremor will like. Like you know, pull his his knees up to his his sides and kind of hold them, so he's like in a ball at the corner of the the seat. Do you really gotta sit next to me? I don't have to no. but we are assigned seatings. I only have two available seats currently because the other three would make me uncomfortable. Well, you're making me uncomfortable. Very well. I shall change seats. He walks around again. <laughs> 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 Oh, welcome, welcome back! <laughs> Thank you. He was uncomfortable with my presence beside him. Can't imagine why. Um, what is... Everyone, by the way, has a familiar. Uh, where are your familiars currently? Uh, mine would be, like, on my shoulder. I, I think I'd put them, like, on the, the seat rest, like, right next to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they'd just be, like, not averting his gaze, staring at the three of them. And, kind of uh, way. describe your familiar, Tremor. Ah, yes. My familiar is a homunculus um, that, uh, when we were having the art commissioned, I said, let's try to make a homunculus out of the hat in that one meme with the person pointing at it and screaming. <laughs> and the, the cat is looking indignant behind a dinner plate. <laughs> so that's kind of what my homunculus looks like. It's like a, a mix betwe between a flying uh, squirrel 
and uh gosh like a like a weasel i don't know it's it's <laughs> it's a weird looking thing it's got big ears uh and uh it's it's made of clay but it looks like it's made out of a, a you know a skin like it looks fleshy hmm and uh gideon what's your familiar doing uh my familiar is probably like between my legs resting his head on my foot and my familiar is a uh, snow white fox smaller than like a full-grown fox he's He's small enough to kind of also huddle on my shoulders, but he's down there. Mm -hmm. uh, tail wrapped around my ankle. Okay. Um, Aldoris, uh, where is your familiar currently? Uh, he's in his little satchel bag on the ground. It's a little bit wider right now, and you can hear the occasional just sound of something being munched as he's feeding in there. Um, Aldoris has a pygmy flail snail, a very rare familiar. It's a... It's, what we would consider quite a large snail, but the flail snail usually grows to a massive size. So um, it's basically a very colorful shelled snail with various little kind of flail shaped uh, antennae. I'm not really sure what to call them. What do they, what do they call the, the eye stalks of a snail? Antennas? I think. That's what I, 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 I'll go yeah. that. I'm going to Google it because I would know. <laughs> I stopped. Um, <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. And uh, Eleonora, what's uh, you mentioned a brief bit about your familiar? Yes, uh, so albino ferret, and uh, she would probably just be around uh, Eleonora's neck, kind of like a scarf just hanging over her shoulder. All right, excellent. Uh, so just then you hear the uh, shield guardian speaking to another student that's coming in. Greetings, Aleph Malcolm. While we understand your familiar is wreathed in flames, we request you exercise caution. Otherwise, one of our airship engineers will have to suppress your magic. And you can already just feel the, uh, the, sh the heat in the room as uh, Aleph, who you had such a such a lovely encounter with uh in the in the previous session walk in and you can already hear his his pompous voice mm, that won't be necessary i'm quite trained in the arcade arts as a member of the malcolm family i'm already easily top of my class the shield guardian responds error does not compute commands greetings aleth malcolm while we understand your familiar is wreathed in flames we request you exercise caution <sighs> and and uh, you just hear Ayla sigh as he like continues to 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 walk past, and he uh, he he walks over, stops, and uh, turns to to peek in your cabin. Uh, he eyes Gideon specifically with a smirk. I uh, at this point I would sick my familiar on his face. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! So, so what happens is he turns over, he's looking at Gideon, and he says, uh, first time on an air, oh, and he just, it, this thing just hops over on his face and just starts, like, punching him, and he's just, the, like, my familiar he's, goes, oh, 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 it's like, fucking, get him off, I about that. Get him off me, his face. get him off me, <laughs> <laughs> um, the fox, uh, kind of, like, peeks out of his fiery hair, this fiery fox, and he starts, like, barking, like, dude, just yipping at this thing that's just lightly punching the face of, of Aleph. What does Aleph. the fox say? God damn it. Oh, that was low. Hey, well, that's that's nice. your one joke nice. of the session. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as, uh, as Aleph is just, a Aleph Malcolm is just freaking out over this thing that's this kind of punching his face uh you begin to hear the heavy stomps of the shield guardian approaching you guys oh boy Fun. I, uh, <laughs> I i snap my uh familiar back to me in an instant it's like telepathically bound to me so mm -hmm. it like quickly like, responds and will yeah. settle back in as if nothing yeah. happened oh. Aleph malcolm please report to your seat immediately we are about to take off <sighs> I'll remember this. And he just kind of just stomps over and just goes over to his area. At that moment, he's just, he's just, he's done with it. He's done with everything. And you just hear the loud uh, stomping of the shield guardian return back to the, uh, 
to the center of, of, of the area. Um, so, at that point, you see uh, the face of a student kind of like peek around the corner here. I want to make sure that I have the correct student. One second, please. Yes. Uh, just a, a, a common young man. He, he peeks his head over. Um, just kind of look at you guys. I'm going to have Tremor turn his familiar in like a defensive stance ready to pounce again. Uh, he, he, he has a smile on his face as if he's about to greet you warmly. He sees your familiar and he just kind of has this like, whoa, whoa, okay, hold on. Um, and uh, he just, he looks at everyone and he's like, hey, don't pay him too much mind. Ayla's got uh, social difficulties. I feel like we can all relate to that. <laughs> I'm Shiz, by the way. And he kind of like holds his hand out to you. Uh, Tremor stares at it for an uncomfortable amount of time and then takes it. And he shakes and it. He shakes it. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. And then he just kind of like leans over to like reach over to everyone. He's like stretching over awkwardly to try and reach everyone. Yeah, Shiz, nice to meet you. Like to everyone G trying to offer Gideon, a hand. Gideon, it's a pleasure. A pleasure. Shish, uh, yeah, a pleasure. And he just kind of like hand, he ends up, puts his hand over to uh, to Eleonora. She like glances at him briefly and then puts out her hand as if to be kissed. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, and, like is, is looking away out the window. He, her head high. He just just like puckers his lips a little bit, like mm, like if that sound was coming out of his mouth. <laughs> and then uh, he shakes it as 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 uh, as one of the guys. He just goes ahead and gives it a shake. Uh, and, and as she he withdraws it with disdain <laughs> as he does that, um, and he turns over to Al, and he goes, "Yeah, Shish, nice to meet you." Al just bows his head. Aldoris Thalarian, pleasure to meet you too. Oh, oh wait a minute, Aldoris. Hey, now I had a room about you. Use the uh, use the guy with the flail snail. Is that true? That is correct. Oh, wicked, bud. Check this out. And he holds out the back of his arm, and you see a slug, a, a, a small <laughs> no. size slug crawling up his arm. Love it. <laughs> That's cute. The slug perks up, and you just notice the body is kind of curved and pointed like the edge of a warrior's blade. Yeah, this is Gladius, my sword slug. Dude, you chose the right familiar, buddy. And he uh, nervously oh, looks. You did not. At every. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. This is the first like <laughs> aggression we've ever heard out of Al. That could only be one Aldoris. <laughs> <laughs> he uh looks at everyone and he looks at you and he just kind of slunk just puts his arm down and like hides it. And he's like, eh, yeah, I I I I guess it's not as cool as you. I just well, I just love gastropods. Uh I do too. Uh, hey, you know what? Maybe we could put it to a test at some point. I would like that. Absolutely. Hey, between you and me, and he kind of like, ga she try he motions his hands as to gather everyone in around for a secret, whether you move closer or not to him to Trevor listen. Is I just sits that, you know. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you. No sure. one moves closer. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, just get in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, someone around here has a spell uh, that. Shish, Jason, Jaden, please be seated. We'll be departing shortly. Ah, sorry. You should hey. listen to that. Well, uh, yeah, let's go and talk later. And he just rushes uh, Trimmer, immediately. Trimmer would stop him. Oh? What's that you say about a spell? <laughs> All right, yeah. look, I'm still working on the voice. I don't want to just do <laughs> <Sorry>. 2.0. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I, I haven't figured it out don't, yet. Don't let, don't let Chad get you down. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> um, And he's like, uh, yeah, the spell is... Now, shit. <laughs> and he just immediately just like rushes over uh, to get back to his room. Useless. And then he puts his legs back up. <laughs> I thought he was quite good. Hey, he good. seemed like a nice guy. He was all right, I suppose. <laughs> he didn't kiss my hand. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't recognize my greatness. <laughs> Um, Did you know the uh, the airship Delgato is powered by steam power and magic? 
Does anyone yes. say anything? The, I don't, I don't, the room <laughs> falls to a silence. He was addressing. <laughs> <laughs> he was addressing everyone at the same time, hoping for a response. <laughs> he, he doesn't get one from me. <laughs> yes, Aldoris, I think we all are aware. Fascinating. Be careful, if you keep responding to him, he's gonna... Oh, this is really mean what I was about to say. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh no. Maybe, 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 maybe you can head straight to look towards you, blank face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Tremor <laughs> looks at the face and just kind of catches his breath. You know what? Never mind. Because <laughs> he felt bad. <laughs> oh my god. I think, wow. You uh, hear the shield guardian echo in front. Nigel Valiansworth, you'll be seated at 1A. Be advised, any trouble you cause will result, in, will result in disciplinary action, up to expulsion from the Exodus Academy. There's someone else coming to our, our cabin? Mm -hmm. Sounds like. Yeah. Nigel? Um, and then you just hear this, this tiny, meek voice go, y y Yes, sir. <laughs> and you see this young lad smaller than even you tremor and he even just, me even you and he just awkwardly and shyly just kind of tries to squeeze by people excuse me uh, sorry he lets out before sitting in a chair and he just looks down at the floor um everyone go ahead and make a perception check oh gideon yeah, oh. you know, I'm, ha I'm having Gideon. a good night. Oh, <laughs> Gideon. Um, whoa, 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 we're not uh, even Whoa, we, whoa. Uh, Gideon, you notice right away that this, this, this young child is just terrified. Like, his small body is just shaking, and he's just hugging onto the, uh, the scarf that he has wrapped around his neck that covers his face. Um... Let me... Oh, here it is. Yeah, let me... Let me let me show this real quick so you guys can get a, a good look at him. I'm just going to move this over like this so you can... Small baby. He's oh. big. Oh. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> He's big. tiny little hand. He's so Aww. small. Um... Oh God, he's huge! <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to show uh, like full profile pictures yet in Roll Twenty. So, um, but yeah, so you you do notice he's just you can tell he's just terrified of just people and and and, and being around. And he he wants to do his best to uh, he wa wants to do his very best, you know. Okay, um, I would probably if, if Gideon noticed that I'd probably uh, talk to him and say. Uh... Nigel was it, and I'll lean forward a little bit, but not like I don't want to stand up yet. Right. Um, he's kind of like looking at his feet that can't even like touch the ground almost, and um, and he just looks up and he sees your hand and he just goes, uh, um, "Nigel, it it's nice to meet you." And he uh, he shake he shakes your hand, and he just kind of. You can tell he's already beginning to calm down. He's beginning to beginning to calm down a little bit. Okay. My name's Gideon. I don't know if I actually said my name is Gideon, but I introduced myself. Uh, I think. Yeah. I, I don't know if you said. Did you say? Oh, this. We'll just say. I think said I that. just leaned over and said Nigel was it. But oh, same thing. oh, sorry, so, sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So he uh, he shakes, um, and uh, he just kind of sits silent. He's he's kind of like looking at everybody else at this moment just a little bit like he's not looking at the floor anymore um but he uh he's calming down a little bit okay i think i'll leave him alone then he's, and he seems like he's getting more yeah calm. he he takes a moment and looks up and he sees uh gideon your your fox and you see his eyes just kind of light up like is is that your is that your familiar Oh yes, this is uh, this is Risk. Risk, go, go play, and then Risk will scurry over to him and just start nuzzling himself, oh. while attempting to nuzzle himself on, I guess, the bottom of his foot since his feet don't reach the floor. I uh, Risk just kind of like oh. runs oh over and begins just nuzzling at his feet, and uh, 
he just you see his eyes his face is still covered but you see his eyes just light up and he looks over to you like can i can i pet him oh yeah of course go ahead he loves it he loves right behind his left ear that's his favorite spot he leans down and just kind of begins petting behind the ear and you just see him like light up uh immediately and he's just and he just he's just like they oh he's he's such a he's such a, a good familiar and uh he briefly mentions he's just like uh, it's it's moments like these that wish that i can i can bind to a familiar oh, you don't have a familiar uh he immediately goes quiet and he's like i no i can't bind one to me for some reason i'm actually hoping to learn more about it once we get to the once we get to the academy oh i, ho I hope you can out. figure that out oh that is peculiar um, would you like to play with mine and i'm <laughs> gonna send over my gross <laughs> naked mole rat flying squirrel <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just gonna it's not gonna like <laughs> stare at him <laughs> It's not gonna like bork at him. It's just gonna be like, like it's it's version of like uh, purring. Is this gonna be like a slight vibration? Like, ooh. um. <laughs> oh my god. He he's petting Risk, and then he looks over to yours. That's kind of like I imagine him. Like, how would he approach uh, Nigel? Because I imagine like climbing up on the chair almost. Yeah. No, he doesn't fly. <laughs> he like like salamander like. <laughs> Like along the floor, up the chair on the right, and like perches on the seat rest next to him. You've you've seen how people have reacted uh, to your familiar uh, in scenarios like this before, um, but Nigel is just like he his face immediately lights up, and he's just like a homunculus. How do you pet him? Do you shake his hand? What do you? How do you? How do you interact with him? You can really do whatever you want, you know. He's actually, uh, he's me. And as Tremor waves, you see the Munculus waves too. Oh. Uh, and it's like perfectly in sync. That's that's so cool. And uh, he just he's just kind of like looking around the face, like to see how just everything about this Munculus. And he's like, "You're very lucky. Did you make him?" I did. Oh. It wasn't it wasn't any trouble really. This is so cool. And he's just he's he's petting risk and he's he's just like observing he's kind of like moving your your homunculus like ear around and just like just seeing how he's constructed together and he and immediately just nigel's mood has just changed and he's just you can tell he's just super way more relaxed now and he's just he's happy he's actually he's very happy i think also if anyone notices, Tremor like relaxes a ton when he sees someone more out of place than he. I think no. he he was like shocked by all this new stuff, but seeing someone more nervous and seeing that he can be like the mentor to someone, he like immediately kind of chills out a bit. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, Nigel's just super, super happy right now. At this point, um, you begin to hear the sound of of steam engines outside beginning to beginning to start up. Oh! As a ring of fire begins to ignite around the ship, kind of like a vertical ring of fire around the ship, you just see it begin to flare up and ignite. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh you for it's kinda like uh returns back. Uh do you call back your your familiar at all? Uh or do you just no. did, did you just sit I'm there? Fine with there? Yeah, yeah he's just kinda like moving his legs around like I imagine. <laughs> um yeah, Nigel. Oh yeah, is... actually I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him uh sit just like I am with his his legs dangling over the chair like a human, just like standing <laughs> like sitting upright. It's just like this little <laughs> like hairless child okay. um, Beside, like a foot and a half tall or something nigel <laughs> is looking at uh your familiar and begins doing the same thing because he also can't reach the the ground and he's just oh kind of chuckling and laughing to himself with your uh with your familiar um so yeah you begin to to just feel just like the ship begin to shake a little bit 
Um, and the airship begins to, yeah, begins to shake lightly, signs of it's about to depart. You, uh, one more time hear the voice of the shield guardian. Greetings, students. Please stay seated as we depart the Brisbane port. We shall be arriving at the Exus Academy in half a day's time. Once we are airborne, you are free to walk around the ship and you'll be permitted above deck. The wind barrier will keep you safe. The ground floor contains a small library of books if you wish to read and begin your studies early before arriving. The third floor contains a small dining area if you require sustenance. Prepare for departure. Um... The engines finish warming up as you feel the ship begin to lift up from the ground. As it does so, looking out the windows, the airship Delgado um, uh, pierces through the skies. And before you realize it, you're sailing above the clouds. Let me actually get this here. Uh, boop. Boop. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, right? Dude, so cool. Um, nice. Uh, looking down, the Arch City of Brisbane, your home for your entire a- adolescence, appears to be getting smaller and smaller as you fly past the approach and fly past Brisbane's wall. You're finally on your way to the Arcane Academy. I'm going to make a quick change real quick to our background on stream as well to emulate the fact that we are now Skyborn. Epic. <laughs> All right. The, uh, the ship is now airborne and you're free to walk around and uh, leave the cabins. Um, Can we have a look around? I wouldn't mind checking out some of those books. Me too. Oh. Uh, Okay. (laughs) I guess you can come. (laughs) Might if I tag along? I think I think Al's pretty good company. Yes, of course. I didn't really think this would be a group. Okay, fine. (laughs) We can treat it like a group activity. Are you coming? And Tremor looks in the direction of Eleonora. I don't think at him, at her. Sorry. Um, she was like zoning out so hard at the uh, the clouds and everything. She kind of snaps up and goes, "Hmm, what? What is happening?" Checking out the books. Oh, yes, that'd be nice. How about you, little guy? He looks across. Nigel is just like he has this shocked expression, like someone's inviting me. Um, <laughs> and uh, he nods and he goes, "Okay," and he he hops off the chair. All right, I'll have uh, my familiar uh, stay with him. You can look after, uh, fuck, what'd I name him? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, if I have to tell you what it's named. No, I'm, I'm uh, scrolling up, I'm scrolling up. I know, Otto. I yeah, the there motto. it is, there it is. Um, oh, you go look after Otto. He, uh, he nods and he's like, okay. Otto hops on the shoulder and goes, <laughs> oh god and then Gen- gently a gentle one. and then nigel <laughs> nigel goes oh as if an attempt to oh. talk to otto oh oh, oh. <laughs> i don't like this I, I love him and he just begins walking out <laughs> oh. Oh. um can al knock on this door uh, uh, oh God. Yeah, feel free. Uh, you see a a uh, young uh, woman with blonde hair. She looks over to you and she goes, "Yes." Now, Doris Valerian, we're going to have a look around. Would you like to come? Oh, oh. no! Oh, <laughs> my God. oh my God! She gives this look, like this, uh, like this. If you uh, uh, like every anyone with social cues can immediately tell she is like, no, thank you. And uh, she goes, uh, no thanks. Bending wow. Look, I didn't think we were gonna invite every single person on the boat. He's got his <laughs> hand ready to knock on this door. <laughs> why not? It's uh, gonna be too crowded. All the good books will be taken up. Let's Come not on. invite that one at least. And I thumb over to the 
the flames I see in the room next it's to just, us. He just, he's literally just taking up like the entire chair, just lean over his hands uh, behind his back. And he's, and he looks over to you and mm. just says, hmm, did you say something, Pipsqueak? I, I didn't say it to him. Would you like closed. to come with? <sighs> with you? Hmm. Let me think yeah. about that. No. Running well. Wow. Uh, Shish gets up and just mentions, you go into the cafeteria? Yes, we are. You can come along, Schmisk. Oh, we're not. <laughs> Schmisk. <laughs> no. no. Hey, it's Shish, but that's okay. Let's go get some grub. Schmisk. <laughs> that's what that voice is from. Oh, boy. Full circle. All right. Um... All right, so uh, if you want to zoom out yeah. of the map a little bit, um, stairs that have sort of like this darkness into it uh, goes downstairs, and stairs with light mm. uh, ascends, just so you know what everything means on the map. So this um, one's dark. Down, yes. yes it, it's okay. going to descend down to the ground level. You're on the second level right now. The ground level is actually where the, uh, the library is. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. All right, let's uh, head on over there. Uh, go to the south of the map, and that's where you'll be walking out of. Al lands on me. <laughs> <laughs> here's Nigel, here's Shish. And uh, Shish just goes, oh, the cafeteria is upstairs. This is the library. We got plenty of time for homework later. No, we don't. Suit yourself. And then he just walks back upstairs, like, <laughs> not in the direction he uh, wanted to go. I like, like two pack. things, anthropods and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I like food. <laughs> oh, God. And making friends with weird people. Up high. <laughs> so... Uh, you actually see, uh, reading a scroll, a human, a humanoid automaton. Hmm. Um, give me a second. I have to check my notes. Uh, the area seems quiet with a few students uh, sitting on some of the couches, reading a variety of books. Uh, but yeah, what catches your eye is the humanoid-like automaton that appears to be paging through a variety of books. But what do you all do? Would we be used to automatons from our uh our so, life in the city so automatons are sort of like they're man-made they're guardians they serve a function uh but you have heard of this sort of race that came to being recently like like a couple of decades ago recently uh called the warforged and they are essentially automatons that have gained sentience or sentience, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, it's still a very foreign concept uh, in the world of Io. Um, so to see someone there, and he's just, he, he's moving, he has motions like a human, uh, like a humanoid and everything. So uh, you may, there's a very good chance that you may have not seen a Warforged before though, but you may have heard of yeah. him. I think Tremor would immediately walk over to him and, uh, and, and like begin a conversation. If anyone else wants to come, they're welcome. Or they can do their own thing. He's gonna watch. Ah, greetings, fellow students. Come to get some reading in? How do you work? And he's just gonna start <laughs> poking at him. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I could actually feel that. You could... You... Is it magic? Is it electricity? Do we have electricity? I'm sorry, I made that assumption. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, steam power, so not not really. We're not at like, it electricity steam? yet. Is it steam power? <laughs> um, oh yes, I'm uh, certain you are alarmed of uh, my appearance. I am a warforged. I'm a... not alarmed. I'm more curious. Oh, I'm just walking around him like a, like I'm examining a product. Honestly, if, if it's fair to you, I am uh, <laughs> also curious of my 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 birth my ascension i don't know that's why i'm heading over to the academy to learn more about where my people came from hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's doing like the fucking bretu hmm face <laughs> <laughs> um he uh i originate from a a sort of country called c it is a 
lands of Warforged, where we're learning of our, our purpose and where we came from. I'm sorry, that's all the information I, I have for you. Do you have free will? Oh, absolutely. And then he Prove immediately it. begins to pet your head, like mess up your hair. I oh. leap back, <laughs> shocked. Hey. Oh, I apologize about that. And then he... And then, and then he holds up his arms and he just goes, Free will. <clears throat> I go back to the others. <laughs> so how was that? It's touchy. <laughs> Actually, you're an inquisitive of mine. Maybe you can help me with something. What is it? Uh, he holds up a piece of parchment that I did not get to make for this game, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make pretensies. Um, he holds up a piece of uh, of parchment. It has a a sort of like square, like a big giant square drawn, and the word mm -hmm. canine written above it, and it appears to be like a scroll. I've been trying to get this thing out for a while. Oh, are you asking me a question? No, I was gonna make a goof, but I won't do it now. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> uh, this has been quite puzzling to me. I'm not entirely sure what it means. I've been reading through. Right, a few, I've been reading through a few books, but I just can't figure it out. I don't know if it's something that I'm, I'm not capable of, or I'm uncertain. Maybe you can help me with this. How <laughs> is gonna butt in and just hold out his hand? May I? Uh, yes, absolutely. And feel free to look at the bookshelves as well for any books I may have missed. And he hands you the yeah. piece of paper, the, the scroll. Gonna hold it up, have a kind of a closer look at it. Uh, it appears to be, the parchment appears to have originally been a, a scroll. All the, the only thing you know mm -hmm. is that it says canine and it has a, uh, a, a big black square, like opening, uh, drawn on the scroll. As if something could be perhaps written in that square. Okay. Uh, um, he, he also mentioned uh, the the books on the shelves. I was gonna hold out. We have a challenge here. We have to find what goes here. See if there's anything that might help. Go. <laughs> Game show host. <laughs> Go. Oh, my God. oh, this is very exciting. And you just see yeah. him just kind of like walk, walk away. <laughs> He's gonna put it down on the um, on the table here. Okay. Before rummaging into some books to see if he can find anything that's remotely familiar to it. What are you so, even looking for? It's just I'm not box. sure until I find it. Um. So, four books catch your eye. Everything else is a little unfamiliar to, or, or just just doesn't seem to, to pertain to this. Um, actually, five. Uh, you see, you see five interesting things. Uh, you see a book called Hal and Feng. You see a book called Hark Ye Slithery Friend. A book called The Mystery of the Magic Missile, and a book with some unknown language on it what languages do you know al uh orcish and infernal okay so you Weird. you wouldn't know what's actually what the title is uh he lifts it up <clears throat> does anyone recognize this what's uh, uh what tremor would take a look what's everyone's languages that they know uh tremor i got celestial and draconic uh gideon uh common and dwarvish and uh, Eleonora, what languages do you know? Common and Elvish. So nobody knows what this book says. Damn. Mm. It's quite a mystery. Uh, but you have four <laughs> other things. Uh, one appears to be a rolled up scroll. Um, and then of course the book, Mystery of the Magic Missile, Harky Slithery Friend, and Hal and Fang. By the way, these are all books that you can read and sometimes contain hidden little nuggets and treats in them that if you find and discover and ask hey 
will this book be allow me to do this? I will then let you know the mechanics of how that would work. Okay. okay. Would you like to all shout out these books? Sure. Okay, who would like the scroll? Uh... <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll take the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put the unknown book into my satchel. Okay. Uh, I have Hao and Fang. I'll Hao grab... and Fang. I'll grab Fang. Okay. Hao ha and Fang is one book. I'll grab Hao and Fang. Okay. Would uh, you like to read Heart Ye, Slippery Friend? I believe it might be... I have put it in your journal. Based. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I put Hao and Fang in everyone's journal, actually. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who wants to read with me? Gather around. <laughs> I was actually interested in the, the mystery of the magic missile. He passes that one across to him. <laughs> Eleanor, here that leaves you with hearty, silvery friend. Slivery. Slivery. Lucky me, thank you. She there you go. It. And everyone just kind of gets gets nice and cozy. And Nigel uh, uh, just kind of like goes over and, and just... He tries to find a place where he's not intruding. Oh. He's like, huh. huh? Um, can you read this? He lifts up the unknown book to Nigel. Ooh, good call. He uh He goes, Oh, let me let me see that. And he Passes the cross. He takes the book and he looks around at it and he begins to think to himself. And he goes, Goblin? And you see Ow. him you see him motion his hand around the book and he opens it up and he goes yeah this is this is goblinoid uh, uh, hold on he takes out a quill and he begins to head over to uh, one of the tables <sighs> and he begins to write the meaning of the book wow I can solve the hold first on. puzzle don't say anything mean I haven't plugged my headphones hold on <laughs> alright I'm back Whew. okay so, uh, who's reading their books? I is. I I'm is. reading my book. I'm reading the scroll. Uh, the scroll, I think we'll start with that. This is, this is very, very simple. Um, <laughs> it is a scroll, uh, that teaches you the spell, uh, pers uh persinigation. More importantly, ah. it gives you the ability, uh, to sort of, you, you, you see, uh, kind of written in, like it's it's the basic instructions of how to cast the persidigation spell. It's very simple, so it, in ten minutes you can literally learn how to cast a spell and practice it, and actually put it as one of the spells that you know. Um, there's a written note uh, that gives instructions of an alteration of the persidigation spell that will actually make spicier food not as spicy. Ooh. And uh, if you spend 10 minutes, you'll know the spell uh, along with the alteration, uh, it, the, uh, the, the alteration of it. And you can cast I it right away because I believe it, it's a cantrip. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I can't wait to see the most bland use of the spell prestidation. <laughs> <laughs> prestidation, is that? Yeah. Uh, you're reading Hal and Fang. Have you, have, did you read through the book at all? Uh, how I far read through, did you get? Uh, I skimmed it. You skimmed it. All right, what did you? I, I, re I read quickly. I, I I read that it was like a uh, description of these wolves and, uh, you know, the dangers they might they might possess, and then that this rune is used for, ma for to make a wolf pack harder to track you. Mm -hmm. Um. So a nice little lovely tutorial. Sometimes you will encounter puzzles uh, that require you to draw the correct rune to unlock Ooh. it further. With like paint with, or some shit. With a uh, roll d twenty, you can actually just simply draw oh, yeah, it on the draw. draw it on oh, the screen okay. to symbolize okay. what you're drawing. And if you get the rune correct, uh, an effect may happen. Oh man, that's really cool. cool. That's cool. I will try that. I think Give me. it's it's on the page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, wait. Am I? Hold on. I I was gonna draw this where the box was for K9 because this That's, mentions K9s. You're, and you're if you'd like to. Smart, yeah. smart, smart. Smart boy. Wow, you're a genius. <laughs> I say, 
I think I found what we're looking for. I was on right? Yeah, do you want to go get nuts and bolts over there? Climbs off the thing, rushes over to him. We've, we've succeeded. We believe. Already? Now, oh, my colleague over here has a hypothesis. Oh, fantastic. Huh? You're, you're free to keep the, the scroll and whatever's on it. I just, yeah. I, I want to see how it works. I mean, well, this should help us sneak past wolves. Some good it's going to do us on the middle of a flying airship. <laughs> <laughs> and, <Indeed>. uh, <laughs> do, do I draw the, the thing now or? Yeah, feel free. Just go ahead and draw it. All right. Uh, you, a little bit. Uh. as you draw the rune on the page, uh, the page ignites on fire, but it doesn't burn. As you see, words begin to uh, scribble uh, across the page. It, it, it gets rid of the canine, it gets rid of the box, it even gets rid of the rune. And the scroll itself uh, teaches you if you spend a day doing so, and we'll actually talk about how to learn spells because it does take a lot of time. The level one spell, Pack of the Wolf. From what you understand, this will allow you to essentially, you and your allies to function as a a wolf pack. Um, what that we means- We get like pack tactics when we attack? Yes. You figured it Ooh. out. Oh, shit. Huggy. So if you have an ally that's five feet uh, away from you and you're concentrating on the spell, uh, you get advantage on your attack rolls if you are five feet from an ally. Okay, so as long as we're sending, that doesn't mean we have to be next to an enemy, right? Nope. Like ranged attacks also gain that benefit. Yep. That's pretty oh, sick. Nice. Yep. You just need someone concentrating on the spell. I, I read it. It's, uh, <laughs> why are your eyes red? I'm focusing. <laughs> um, so to learn uh, spells that aren't cantrips uh, do, does require uh, about a set, uh, like hours of study. Um, and you'll have to make an arcana check. Uh, depending on how well your arcana check is, is your familiarity with the spell. If you're a little unfamiliar with the spell, you, you cast it. Uh, but you have a chance that the spell will fizzle out, which means you'll have to study the spell even further for a period of time. And once you study it enough, you there's no problem. You know the spell; it's 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 known forever, and you don't have to worry about the spell fizzling out. But it does require a time of study. Cool, cool. Nice. So, so I'll maybe, probably wait till we're done liberated. Or yeah. would this be the time to start studying? I don't know. Uh, you it, you probably want to wait till you get to your dorm rooms at the academy. Okay. Um, how long is the is the flight? Half a day. Right? Half a day, about oh, four man. hours. Only half a day? Oh, okay. That's not that. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I it was multiple days. No, oh, no, no. It's yeah. It's, it's you're you're flying right over to the mountains. Uh, Nigel, I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and show you what the untranslated book is, so you guys can see what it actually looks like. Ooh. I can read that. <laughs> I, can, I can read that. Uh, Nigel has finished the book. Let me go ahead and give it to you. The book is simply called Goblin Earth. And he goes, oh, all done. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but... And then he uh, he he hands the, the book over to... Uh, who, who gave him the book? Al, you gave him uh, the book, right? Al yeah. Did. Yeah, he hands the, the book over to you. He goes, all done. It seems to be the the scrawlings of a of a mad goblin, but maybe you'll find a better use for it. Yes, perhaps. And I will now give you guys uh, Goblin Earth. 
Um, Eleonora, have you read anything from Harky Slithery I Friend? Have. <laughs> yes, I have. Learned anything interesting from it? Yeah, Cronovan's name is mentioned multiple times. Dude, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, I sick! I while everything was going on because I was like, oh, this is so fucking cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, the heroes that passed on, um, people wor don't worship quote-unquote gods. They worship heroes. And uh, sometimes they will say a, a trait of a uh, of a hero as sort of like an exclamation. Yes. So, uh, and uh, did you, Gideon? Did you read uh, Mystery of the Magic Missile? Yes, by Mr. Mulway. Did you? Uh, what did you? Did you find anything new about it, or anything you wanted to share? I, it talks about magic missile and how it can be stronger than a barrage of arrows. And this man practiced uh, on some rats in his basement, like a really cool guy. And uh, <laughs> now he can use this spell. Very good. Okay. Um, that's okay. Sounds good. If you find anything in a book that may be interesting, uh, you can uh, pose a question to me and I will let you know if you can learn something. For example, uh, since this is a tutorial book, um, you can go, hey, this book talks about magic missile and describes how to cast the spell. Can I learn how to use magic missile from this book? Or you can ask things like, can I improve magic missile on this book? Because he mentions how he can empower yeah. magic missiles with that. If you ask, uh, I won't hand it to you like that uh, with books in the future, but if you ask me the question, I can tell you yes or no. There's no punishment for asking uh, quote unquote uh, pointless questions. Well, then I'm going to ask my very own original question that I thought of by myself. Please. Uh, can this can this book teach me magic missile in a more lethal form? Because that's what he talks about. Uh, it absolutely can. If you spend some time studying the book, uh, just like learning the spell, you can not only learn the spell a magic missile, uh, but you can improve upon it by casting an additional missile instead of the three missiles. You can use four missiles as a nice. level one spell. Hmm. That's okay. very good. How long do I have to? How long am I gonna have to study? Uh, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna have to spend okay. some like a study hall learning it or spend. Your time. There'll be uh, times when you get to the academy where you'll be doing uh, quote unquote homework, uh, or you'll be like you might spend your free session studying, and when you do that, you can just learn spells faster. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Go ahead, Bree. I was just gonna ask a question about my book. Yes. Um. Does this book teach? Perhaps something like Venomous Strike or something, some sort of either poison related thing or manipulation tactic. Uh, I go ahead and make an <laughs> intelligence check. IRL, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. 22. Uh, nice. okay. Uh, after studying, you, it does mention, you, you do see, and it mentions the uh, spell Vicious Mockery, uh, which is a bard spell uh, from you, what you understand. Uh, however, it doesn't really give you thorough instructions to learn it. The conclusion you come to is that this is from a mad bard that probably got poisoned by a snake and then just wrote oh. any little thing that he wanted to write down about it. So the book is actually useless. <laughs> All right. Oh. Cool. Sad day. <laughs> Wait, so gonna just toss it to the side. So yeah. this same. It, like this is all the stuff he wrote right before dying of a snake bite. Well, you don't know what happened to him. Uh -huh. Implied. That is implied he's, that he got bit by a snake. It's it's, uh, it's by Sean Sean the Bard, by the way, and he's like got a hard on for Cronovan and this snake. He's, he can't stop dreaming and talking about the snake and describing it in vivid detail. So. Cronovan snake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's innuendo. <laughs> Clearly. Um, but yeah, you've... Uh, I, I, I will tell you right now, especially since this is the first session, uh, you've completed everything you need to do here in this library. Learning... And by the way, all the stuff that you're learning, uh, all the... The, all the party members can like learn from it as well. So you know oh, the cool. oh, that's cool. So the persidigation, the 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 um, magic missile improvement, the actual um, the, pa the the pack of wolves. Uh, if you spend time studying it, uh, it doesn't like like doesn't like dissolve away. You can literally be like, here, you can yeah. study it, or you guys can actually study it together, 
um and i will al- and i will allow you to make uh when you're doing your arcana checks to see how well you learn it uh to take advantage so you may actually learn it faster if you do it as a group mm. and learn it together as well nice nice i uh i hand out the prestidigitation uh scroll to each person yeah you can this place has to offer I sure hope the school's got something more. The school's wonderful. I would not doubt it. That was amazing. You all are very smart. I Thank know. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should maybe we should move along. I have a gut feeling we have nothing else to do down here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A matter to follow your instincts, I suppose. Maybe we could catch up with uh, Shiz, was it? Uh, what was his name again? Uh, Sh- Shiz. Misk. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think his name was Shiz. Shiz. Uh, yeah, he mentioned a spell. He tried to. Maybe we can catch up with him in the cafeteria. If he's still there. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, oh, wait, yeah, you're right about the spell. Sorry. <laughs> um, there he is. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's already at the cafeteria. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, you see the Mal- uh, you see Malcolm just kind of just chilling out. He's like half as asleep. We, as as we go past, <laughs> oh, he says it. All right, perfect. As we go past, <laughs> I have my uh, my familiar jump off Nigel's neck at the window and go, <gasps> <laughs> and then jump back with Nigel before we cross. I had a terrible dream. <laughs> 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 You shouldn't pick on people. Nigel says. It. Nobody deserves it. What do you mean he was not picking on him, was he? What? Uh, Were you picking on that man? No, I wasn't. Otto was. Mm. Yes. See? It's just it's just something about the familiars you wouldn't know. <laughs> Oh my! No. Wait, is that his character? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> he, he said, Drama, it's just a familiar thing you wouldn't be aware of." Oh my god! Oh my. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't um, know he's upset. Uh, Nigel immediately looks down. His eyes Aww. begin to water. I shoot. I'll look. <laughs> What's wrong? Apologize to the kid. No, it's okay. I don't think he meant anything bad by it. Hey, let's go to the cafeteria. And he just kind of like just begins rushing off. <laughs> oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> oh, no, I love Al. Oh, yeah. Dear Lord. Um, you see Shiz uh, just drop his food down and he just goes, This is ridiculous. Um, and, uh, Nigel walks over and sits down and he looks up and realizes, I don't know, Shiz, and he's kind of like, Why did I sit here? Um, when he says that this woman just kind of begins to like motion her hands around and that's what you see. Hmm. Uh, she just kind of it starts fanning at her mouth and then she pushes her plate away and she kind of like holds her 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 stomach what uh what's going on in here hello shinj hey what's up al not much that's good <laughs> And he goes back, he tries to take another bite of the food and he immediately spits it out. And he's like, why are they serving an edible food like this? Mm. The, food's that, the food's that bad. That's not that it's bad, it's hot. It's on fire. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Al he climbs in. on the table. Does Al love spicy food? No. He leans in and with prestidigitation. Oh. He- he lowers the spice level of it. He uh, he makes the little vocal and somatic gestures. Ah, oh, try it now. What, you kidding me? Um, I don't do that. 
my god, he's right. And then he begins to eat some of the, the food. And he goes, <gasps> oh, much better. Quest and, completed. What do we get? What do we get? And uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> you see the uh, the chef lean over and gives a, a playful wink as he then goes back into the kitchen. This was all a test. Was test for our first long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this ah. this this uh, woman holds out her food over to Al and just kind of like motions it over to Al. You should do your homework yourself, miss. It's downstairs. We left the scroll on the table. Um. Al. What? Well, I just don't believe in handouts. This isn't the entire point of school that we should be learning individually? Why well, is the group we were sent? In character, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um. She just, you just see her just kind of like motioning her hands. Her hands are making a variety of motions. And then she like she points mute? over at you. Uh, can I do a perception check to see if she's absolutely like trying to say language? Um, yeah. Is she casting a spell? It, why does she keep moving her hands around? That's the thought that goes through your mind. Okay, I try to watch her hands and see if a spell comes out. A spell does not come out. Uh, oh, nice. She's got good form. Nigel looks over at you and says, "What? What are you doing?" At me? Oh. At uh, oh, sorry, at uh, at 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 uh, Tremors. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. Uh, he looks over to her as she's motioning her hands, and he, he goes, oh, "Sign language." I heard we had someone mute on the ship, and. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do, do, figure this out if you didn't do all the hard work. No, I'm kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, he begins motioning his hands, kind of. Um, and she looks over to Nigel and begins mm. doing doing the same. And Nigel says, uh, she said she missed uh, breakfast this morning, so she was looking to get some, eat some food. Oh, okay. Well, actually, it's it's funny you should say that because this spell does require you to be vocal, so I can perform this for you, but in future I do, I do recommend that you learn the spells yourself. This is a school way. Okay? Uh, it leans across, <laughs> takes the food, and then casts it on that and uh, pops it back down. Trimmer yeah, moves better. over a seat when he snorts. <laughs> she, um looks down and she gives uh, 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 another uh, some, she uh, motions her hand in sign language very briefly uh, her face uh, clearly unamused uh, Nigel says she says thank you oh yes um, and she eats some of the food and she just immediately becomes joyful and she just like ooh, she just absolutely loves it and she continues to, to consume the food Nin Nigel go goes over and sits down next to her, and she said, uh, and he, Nigel goes, what's, what's your name? And she looks at him and kind of gives like a signal, but then realizes that's not going to help. She can't say her name. Um, Nigel holds his hand up with like emotional, like, is, you know, is this okay? Um, and she nods, placing her hand on his. Uh, Nigel hmm. closes his, his eyes for a second and then opens his eyes moves his hand back and goes uh oh this is this is ellie her name's ellie how did you do that uh, and he sh he shrugs a little bit and he says uh, some gifts when i was younger it's actually part of the reason why i'm going to the the school to learn to learn more about it ah. trimmer will remember this <laughs> Uh, he hops. He hops off. She continue, She just kind of continues to eat some of the food, um, and uh, Shish looks over and goes, "Oh, yo, wait, Nigel!" And Nigel looks up and goes, "Oh, yeah, you're the one I was gonna see about. You're the one that knows the the, the spell for the familias." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, oh, oh Tremor, Tremor immediately perks up. Um, what's everyone else doing? 
Yeah, yeah where's Eleanor? Eleanor is watching from afar, but she's clearly growing more and more annoyed with her eyes narrowing in on Nigel. <laughs> she hates kids. <laughs> yeah, you're so dense, you would think that, huh? <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, yeah, go on, sorry. I was gonna say, well, I was I was getting ready to approach Shiz, but he just ran away, so I'm probably just walking over towards them as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know that awkward when you're like, gonna go say hi to someone, and they yeah, go sure. somewhere else, so you just keep following, but at a distance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Nigel goes, uh, oh, you you heard about that? And she's like, yeah, I heard about that. It sounds like a fun game. And I'm just like, I, I was actually looking to to try it before we 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 got to the school. I think the I think the spell's ready. We just maybe need a need a few more people. And she's just snaps his fingers and goes, I I I got just the thing. And he turns over to everyone, and he goes. Hey, while we're waiting to fly over to the school, why don't we have a little uh, competition? Why? For fun? <laughs> he just like opens his, pricks his head up a little bit. Could, uh, could Hi, also, game, what's the competition? Could also be a good study for our familiars. Um, he turns over to Gideon. He's not ignoring Gideon, I promise. He turns <laughs> over to Gideon. And he oh, goes, dude. What's the competition? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like you very much. You know, I'm just <laughs> oh, well, oh um, oh, Nigel over here, and he just kind of like thump, you know, motions back, pointing at him, made this spell for, for a game he calls Familiar Fight. Essentially, what it does is create illusions of our familiars, and then we can battle with it with them. Pokemon, dude, I'm oh in. Oh my god! And Nigel just kind of looks down, <laughs> blushes a little Sounds bit. Like a good time. <laughs> uh, Tremor will interrupt. How did you make a spell about familiars if you don't have one yourself? Well, I've been trying to figure out how to bind a familiar for, well, for years now. I and. Even though I haven't been able to, I've still learned a lot about the anatomy and, and how familiars work, even if I'm not able to emulate it. And kind of on accident, I made a, this ability that creates illusions of familiars, and it gives them a, a, a variety of sort of like different abilities that depends on the familiar itself. I, I, I've been practicing for a while on on this on the squirrel that that lives outside my house, and well. It, it it actually works out pretty well. But I was Do Otto. And then Otto's gonna jump in front of him and salute. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> and, and he goes and he goes well it, it it does take quite a quite a bit of energy. Maybe we could we could do it when, when everyone's uh, uh, uh to get and Shish goes, Yo, that's a great idea. Hey! Meet me up on the roof, eh? And he's just kind of like backing up a little bit, like still pointing at everyone while he's backing up. It literally he's... is Joey Wheeler. <laughs> yeah, Meet me up at the hey, roof! <laughs> Meet me up at the roof! <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my Al, my sword slug's gonna kick yours ass! And he just kind of like backs up. <laughs> and Nigel it dusts himself off a little bit. Um... And you see Ellie just kind of have a uh, a curious expression, and Nigel motions with his hands. Uh, do you do you want to join us, Ellie? Uh, and Ellie just gives a nod. And uh, Tremor's gonna kind of uncharacteristically, like, put his arm around Nigel and be like, "So, you want to tell me about making this spell? Maybe uh, show me a thing or two." Uh -huh. You know, I've been dabbling in some spell making myself, and you know, from one spellcrafter to another, I'm kind of curious to see your techniques. Oh, and he just kind of like smiles and nods. And he's like, "Yeah, I'll show you." Wonderful. And he uh, and he he leads him towards the next to the roof. He uh, you see him like run, almost like a it's as 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 awkward as it sounds. He holds out his arms and kind of runs like an airplane as he's like heading over to the. Uh, Oh, Jesus, it's a child. Roof. 
Oh, he's doing I that. Had my arm, wait, hold on. But Brett, I had my arm around his shoulders. But what does that look like? <laughs> he's oh, run away oh, from oh, this oh, arm wait, oh, oh, wait. While you're walking, do you, are you keeping it, your arm around yeah, his shoulders? Yeah, I, I was like, oh, he I doesn't do arm. that. He doesn't. He doesn't okay, do that. Okay. Then, yeah, that he just stays <laughs> with just you. Looking, and throws just... my arm off and he poses away. <laughs> 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 he clips. He clips through the roof. <laughs> um, no. So yeah, he just uh, yeah, he, conti- he just like uh, walks over and. Uh, you guys will see the over here if you're heading to the roof. It's over there. But uh, what is everyone else doing? Ellie's also heading up as well. Getting a plate of spicy food. Oh, pre pre prestidigid. Nope. Oh, pre yeah pre pre prestid yeah yeah pre <laughs> pre 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 pres. Yeah. Are you eating it spicy? That's right. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I was Yay. built for this. <laughs> hey, that ain't bad. Hey, you're good. Uh, apparently, Al can handle the spicy food. Damn. Yes. The spice. It's spicy. Would the you sp- like some Eleanora? It's actually <laughs> not that hot. <sighs> She's like very tense and very visibly just like frustrated no doubt no i'm not hungry thank you very well they've gone out to have fun would you like to enjoy them with me oh my god is this a date (laughs) (laughs) she kind of like looks at him incredulously like are you really asking me this like you think you can shoot your shot here <laughs> do you want some spicy food okay do you want to go on date <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say is anything no, yeah. hey. but she's taking it like what the fuck hey the food um, is the only is not isn't the only thing that that's spicy around here hey hey, hey. she's gonna she's gonna exhale just would you like to go watch them aldoris not particularly Neither would I, but... I feel that it is better if we do, because it would make us seem friendlier. I don't care about seeming friendlier. I just, I guess, slightly curious how Nigel has learned all of this stuff. But yes, I'm sure I, I can learn that's... it too. It's not a big deal. Oh, most likely. If you are good with magic, of course. Of course I'm good with magic. I'm not sure of that. We've only just met. But <laughs> that Nigel child is something of a prodigy, it would seem. Ah, I get it. He's gifted and wonderful and perfect. I get it. I did not say that. He may as well have. He may as well have, by the way he's acting, but... Mm. He did not say that. <laughs> well... Fine. She's gonna sit up. <laughs> Fine, I'll go with you, Aldoris. Let's go. Let's go watch them whatever fight familiars. Let's go. Did Al just neg her into saying yes to a date? <laughs> Dude, I told him life's too short. I literally told him. I'm so glad he didn't make Let's go. All right. Let's uh, head on over to the top. Uh, head on over to the south end uh, of the map, and you uh, begin. Oh, look at that sound effect, Brett. Nice. You uh, begin. Nice. You begin to feel the. Thank you. You Ooh. begin to feel the. Uh, you're up. You could. You could see the clouds uh, rushing over. Uh, you see the two engines uh, working, very, Thinky. very hot. Uh, as the smoke begins pouring out of it, as two mages on each engine uh, continues to cast a spell to keep it in control. You're not exactly certain how the airship works, but it is a lovely combination of magic and steam power. Would I have read about how it works? Make an intelligence check. Straight intelligence, yeah? Absolutely. I mean, unless you would like to use... Oh! 
Oh, you God. know he knows that boring stuff. Oh man, he knows it, dude. The steam engine, the steam engine itself was invented about 25, 30 years ago. That allows uh, you to move items around. In fact, Brisbane is currently looking uh, into moving uh, coal and rocks from Mount, uh, Mount Ishtar uh, over to Brisbane. Well because of airship travel which used to be just a, a, a magic game itself uh, between the combinations of steam power and magic spells that are concentrated into the engine itself not only does it enhance the reaction power of the coal to produce what some simpletons would dub as a super steam uh, but it keeps the engines cool allowing you to sort of modern day overclock the engine Damn. says ow uh, okay. Out loud to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating, huh? No. Mm. Mm. Great to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> that sound. I love that sound. I love that <laughs> <sound>. <laughs> um, oh I have a lot of NPCs. Hold on, I'm trying to get everybody out. I'm gonna run and go pee really quick. Oh yeah, let's go take a bathroom break before we we do this. Does that sound good with everyone? No. Yes. Okay. All right, well, we're taking a bathroom break. I don't know I why will I begin. I throw out <laughs> my, the, the bathroom? My familiar. I cast <laughs> rock roll. We're, we're taking a break. We'll be back. Uh, <laughs> I hit. It's super effective. We're going we're gonna to be back in, let's say, a minute and a half, two minutes. Sound good with everyone? Okay. Okay. BRB, everybody. I will play an ad this time so we can get rid of pre-roll. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Hello. Oh, so fucking good. Hello, hello. No. Hi. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, hello. yo, yo. Hello. We are back. Is everyone back? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Fantastic. Uh, so, Nigel and Ellie, they 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 walk up. They walk over to the the, the top over there. Um, while you guys are on top of the airship, and you also hear. Hey, what's good? As Shiz begins to walk out. <laughs> you ready for a familiar fight? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Hey, I brought a couple of buddies. I hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> We're getting jumped. <laughs> we know exactly who this is. Uh, hey, oh. we know him. Yeah, hey, he's a good guy. Uh, uh, Greetings, fellow students. Uh, this sounds like this would be an exciting trial of my ability. Perhaps. You have a familiar? He holds out a small robotic spider. Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Mm. Um, and that's it. Hey, just kidding. Low bones, as you see, uh, oh. Aleth walks <laughs> out as well. Hello, Malcolm. Hmm. Al, good to see you. Gideon! Yeah. <laughs> he just, like, continues to walk by you. <laughs> you took a swing at me earlier. I did. I'd like to go ahead and show you how a civilized fight is, hmm? Whatever you say. Oh, that's right. You're quivering in fear, aren't you, Lowborn? Oh, man. I really want to swing at him, dude. I really <laughs> do. I, I, all right. Above, above board really quick, chat. I hate this human being. I don't, I, don't even, I don't know if he's human. I hate him. I want him dead. So bad. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, the classist in him, I don't know what I, I don't know what to call it. It pisses me off. Uh, but it, Gideon will maintain his composure. Okay. Shady will not. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good little boy. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. All right, anyways. Uh... Okay. All right. So we'll be doing this in, in 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 battles of teams. If that that works for you. And she's just like, yeah, that'd be perfect. I love it. All right. Hey, Mr. Robot Man, come on over here. I'm a warforged. As he walks up <laughs> over there. You may call me Crotech. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Right. Uh. Hey, you deaf chick. You can join us, right? And she just kind of like motions her hands. You're not really Jesus. sure. You're not really sure. Crap. You're really not really sure what she's saying, but with how her, rapid her motions are and the red in her face, she's definitely not saying anything too polite and kind. And Nigel goes, uh, all right, and if the four of you can stand over here. He, like, points over by the stairs. <sighs> Are you refereeing, Nigel? Uh, yes, it's kind of. And then <laughs> he... the fag gang? Absolutely. This will be a great study, not only for the spell, but how well your familiars are. Yes. He immediately holds out his hands as magical circles begin to surround him. He fills with arcing energy as you see this sort of mirage begin to go over each of your familiars. And at that point, an illusion of each of your familiars manifests itself in front of you. Each and every one of you. This is going to take a bit of a moment because I have to do a little bit of, of prep. Do you want us to sing the Pokemon theme song in the meantime? <laughs> well, okay, I can oh, copyright strike. We can, I, yeah, the show <laughs> will end before it even begins, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't academy. I can't academy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, let me just really quickly. I have to remember how to do this. I'm going to, now I'm going to put these uh, in your journals. There you go. Eleonora, I just gave you Hi. control. Me. Feel free to look at their abilities. They should be NPC character sheets. They all have very unique oh, abilities. Shit. So. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh my God, this is cool. Oh boy. I'll address the elephant in the room. This is going to be a Pokemon fight. Hell <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I believe I... Oh, one second. I believe I've given everyone their characters. Oh God, he's stronger than I am. I know. Same with I know, mine. yeah. Mine could kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> also, to the viewers at home. By the way, I, I haven't even asked, uh, chat. Is the D&D &D Beyond add-on working? Like, can you guys see everyone's character sheets? If you can't, yes? Perfect. Well. Our our party of players aren't the only ones that are going to get a little bit of a surprise. Oh, boy. We're switching out the characters. Wait, what? what? Are they going to see the our familiar stats? That's right. Oh, that's, that's so epic. Cool. 
I just need to figure out real quick how to assign. Because <laughs> I didn't because I didn't want you guys to to look. Uh, supplies. Supplies. I should have looked at this before. I'm sorry. Uh, does anyone know how to assign a character to a campaign? And in D and D B twenty beyond D and D beyond twenty. Can I, can I just add character maybe? All right, guys. One second. Uh, probably. Uh, Imagine. I have unassigned characters. Yeah, I think there's a way to add them. I have to figure out how. Maybe go to the campaign, and then if there's like a little symbol there, it might say add character. Look at the left trim. All right, one second. I should have done this before, or at least figured this out before. My apologies. Um, so how these actions work, I assume we're going to go over this, but... Yeah. Uh, in D&D, &D, there's, like, you know, spells that you can do with spell slots or short rest, long rest. Um, they're all, they're all actions. Um, they'll okay. specify... So you use it, them multiple times. Yeah, they'll specify okay. it's a bonus action. Um, your finale ability can only be used once. Um, every, I think your finale ability is the only one that is unique. Um, okay. shoot, man, I can't... Hold on. Yeah, I can't figure this out. You can hover over the um, for character sheets. Yeah, I'm. Maybe I can specify unassigned characters. I have to hover over it and let's see real quick. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another minute or so to, fi to figure this out. If I can't, we're not gonna worry about it. Um, character selection. All right, campaign selection. Chat. No, I don't have anything for un all the unassigned. Hmm. I think you have to unassign them before moving. They're already unassigned. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Can I, like, move them around? Oh, man, this is so, like, unintuitive. Can I move them in the edit? Hold on, let me let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Milestone, manual use, blah, blah, blah. Uh, character privacy. Background. Hmm. I'm viewing character sheet. There we go. How do I assign an unassigned character? Who has the coolest familiar? Me. Me. Under campaign resources, chat's telling me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the norm, shady. No, I think cry. I think I gotta go with cries. He goes. Ugh. That's true. <laughs> I do love it. I do like the. It's really very good. good. Very unexpected as well. I do like snail too. I, I, yeah, I like snail as well. I think everyone's I got. Want... Snail hasn't done anything yet though. Kind of like Al. So I'm waiting for it to do something. <laughs> oh, you wait. You wait one, one of these days. Maybe, maybe fourteen episodes in, it's gonna do something. It's gonna really leave a time trail in a really. So you can go into the place. campaign and claim an uninside character. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can see this real quick. I'm going into the campaign. I wish there's a button that says cl like claim. Is it called claim? I have create unassigned character, and that's it. Content management, yeah. maybe. No. Click on the character portraits. All right, we'll do one more and then we're just gonna continue on. I can view my unassigned characters. Click on the oh, character yeah. portrait. I've done that. That opens up the character sheet. And there's just like no like campaign that they're in or no way to just assign. Let me see if there's like an assign button. There's no assign button. There's no, hmm. Yeah, I knew I forgot something. Campaign, shared resources, scroll to the bottom, claim unassigned. Okay. Campaigns, shared resources. Oh, okay. Hold on. Sh shared resources. Shared resource. Nope. 
Uh, Professor, what do you mean by campaign shared resources? It, do I select my campaign itself? View campaign. All right, view campaign. Disable, con okay, I've enabled content sharing. And I don't see a, yeah, I don't have a shared resources button. Shared resources. I have, I have already have content sharing. Scroll the bottom, claim unassigned. I have create unassigned character. I can create them. I can't claim them. That's a bit of a bummer. All right, that's fine. Sorry, guys. We won't have the uh, overlay for this. A little bummed about that, but that's okay. Or we'll be very vocal of what our things are doing. No, yes. it's eh, it's fine. Eh, I should have. It only shows health, right? So it shows health, but also they can look at like the abilities everyone has. I thought it would have been a really oh, okay. nice touch. So it's not a not a big deal. You guys can do it, and we've already we've already spent enough time on this. Okay. Uh, so your characters immediately generate, or your uh, your familiars, excuse me, generate right in front of you. And then the spell goes off to everyone else's familiars. We see a fiery fox, a so clockwork <laughs> spider, oh, cool. a sword slug. Oh, oh that oh, really freaking cool. Definitely, cool. definitely cooler than Joe's, 100%. <laughs> and a snake. Shit, dude. Ooh, cool. Begins to eliminate. And with that, uh, go into your characters, and Nigel immediately rushes out and says, Begin! Roll initiative. Uh, uh, no rules, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby. Uh, okay, we're rolling off of. Uh, the. Uh, familiar click on your familiar. Sheet. Right, but in. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my bad. I rolled on Gideon. It's a little thing no, no, it. it's fine. Also, I have to. Yeah. I, I, I uh, forgot to upload where's something. Where's initiative? I don't see initiative on this sheet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can, really oh, you can also just use your, your dexterity roll as well. All right. Uploading something real quick. And then we will actually begin. Uh, at that point. So is it a, is it a 4v4 instead of a, like. So, um, sorry. I've been, I'm just so shook it up by the character thing. Uh, so let me actually. Read this real quick, and I'll tell you exactly what happens. Let me check there. Uh, uh, Nigel meekly explains. I've recently finished a spell that functions sort of, well, sort of like a game that wizards can play with their familiars. I, uh, I call it familiar fight. Essentially, it creates illusions of your familiars and that you can control and will battle with other familiars. It doesn't hurt the familiars at all, and, and I think it's a great study into familiar patterns and how we, uh, well, how you link with familiars. I was hoping to try it out today. And, um, Shiz would then immediately go, A fight with all familiars! It spell is everything and gives you familiar special abilities in combat. Yeah, I gathered a, a bunch of these fine folks. We got some time, heck, we even got permission from the captain. Let's go ahead and do a team fight. Uh, overlay's still on, by the way. I, I, uh, yeah, overlay's, that's fine. The overlay can be on. It's fine. It just, I can't get the thing there. Um, so yeah, he just explains to you guys that you, uh, are going to do a bit of a, a team fight if that works for everybody. I have a quick question. How Please. do I, how do I roll? Cause I've never used roll 20 before. How do I, Please. I have the character sheet open. Yes. Um, how do I roll for things? Click on the name of the ability and it'll, it'll roll everything. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. How did you guys roll initiative then? There's it's a little, little tiny dice in the, top in right. the middle. Yeah. Yeah, and then click on the token first as well. Otherwise, it won't accept. Yeah. So just click on your little auto. Oh, oh, auto. Got it, got it. I don't think we've got your one name. Oh, oh no, we do. Character. None of you have names. I am auto. <laughs> oh, wait, has they do have names. I don't see them. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, yeah I don't see them. Uh, let me pull out everyone's character sheet. I need to. I, I can't find this dumb thing. I want to screen share in Discord. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this it's, dumb all right. It's so top my bundle. 
wait, wait. So start, start. Base. So go to journal where you found your character sheet. Yep. And there should say illusionary familiars. So you're gonna click on risk. Right? Yes. Yep. It's gonna pop up. It's gonna be under bio and info. You want to change it to character sheet at the top. Okay. And then that's your page. You can make that screen bigger. And there should have all the stats, all the actions, and then the initiative roll of this little tiny dice in the middle. Oh. There it is. Gotcha. And then uh, uh, oh, oh no. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so select your your character, select risk, and then press the dice button, and then it adds you over to the uh, initiative counter. Okay, I think it just made it roll it again, right? Yeah. So, uh, you, so you, you gotta have click to, on your guy first. Yeah, you have to click on the on, token. On the actual map. On the phone. Oh, on the map. My bad. I made my box big already. Really. It's fine. Oh bad. no, no, okay. it's all good. It's all good. This is a good tutorial Got for roll twenty for you too. And then click on initiative. Yep. And yep. There we go. There Perfect. Go. Yeah. Roll. Very good. <laughs> and then all you have to do is click on abilities whenever you use them. It'll roll the dice, and then you'll click on that. And you'll, we'll see. You'll see. Yep, uh, cool. It's, it's pretty streamlined. Guys. Yeah. No, you're good. Don't worry. Yeah, sorry about that. All right. Everyone else is rolling initiative. We'll go ahead and see who goes first in this first familiar. Not only the uh, familiar fight, but this is the uh, the first fight of the, the campaign. Mmm. True. Uh, Lumi. You go first. Nice, speedy. Uh, okay. I, wow. I, do I just attack whoever, or do I want to attack the person in front of me? What's proper that's up, etiquette that, in familiar uh, fighting? That's up to you. You can also plan amongst the party. You also have the ability to move. I mean, it's actually like a fight. You're just controlling your, uh, your familiar. Destroying them. <laughs> as, as you're, <laughs> as you're. Go ahead, go ahead. As it is, your familiar it turns to look at like the other familiars to see what the plan is. Uh, you see Otto doing like a bunch of like intricate hand signals as because I'm like literally is just tremor in Otto's body. And he goes, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. Okay, <clears throat> destroy them naturally. All right. Uh, and do I command my familiar to do so, or like how how would you like this to play out? Um. Nigel speaks up and just says, um, the spell's linked to you. So you can go ahead and command the familiar. Um, you can also freely control it as if you would control an illusion. Perfect. All right. Mm. Lumi is going to move forward and attack the snake. Okay. Um, with a claw attack. So. Um, you missed with I a nine. But okay. you do get multi-attack with claws, so you can you. attack again. Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do both claws, and the snake just kind of, like, moves in motion, just um, dodging both mm -hmm. of those. And that is your turn. Um, Malcolm points over at Gideon and says, so Let me show you what a true familiar can do. Oh, get him. Uh, and the fox will immediately attempt to bite at uh, at your familiar, Gideon. Okay. Uh, with a six, it misses. Uh, your 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 fox is too quick and actually manages to to dodge just in time. Uh, I just Gideon just scoffs. He doesn't even like. He doesn't look towards dumb man at all. <laughs> dumb man. <laughs> all right. Let me go and see what I can do. Hmm. All right. <laughs> it is a spider, and I think I can. Oh, I suppose I should support the loud one. Yes, that's the that's the course of action. I'll support the loud one. Uh, the spider walks up. Um, by the way, uh, as a as an added note, I totally forgot to tell you guys. Um, uh, when it's your turn, you are free to make a intelligence checks or Arcana checks uh, to learn more about the attacking creatures. It's a free action. You can learn things like their hit points, or if you saw them do an ability and you want to learn more about it, uh, you can go ahead and do that check to learn more about the abilities that your enemies can use. And that's a free action. That doesn't, that doesn't take a, a full action. Cool. Um, you see small, smaller spiders Small mechanical spiders like begin to to come out of the red oh, eye of the mechanical spider, God. as it then goes over to uh, the fiery fox, and uh, you just see these little these little nano spiders around it. Not really sure what the effect is. 
But that is the turn of the Clockwork Spider. Uh, it is now Otto's turn. Um, Otto's gonna duck under these uh, these players and run 5, 10, 15, 20 feet uh, before uh, throwing a uh, air bolt out of his little hand. Uh, and we'll see if that hits. It wow. misses. Who who were you We're targeting? Rowan. Oh, I forgot to say the Firefox. Okay. All right. Uh, the snake kind of slithers around a little bit, dodging the uh, the blows from Lumi, uh, before it makes a bite at Lumi. Grr. Um. Let me. Does a up oh, 19 hit the 19 uh, lands? Yeah, me think so. Lumi is going to need to make a constitution saving throw. Hmm. 21. You succeed Woo. with that crit Not as well. 20. Nice. Uh, next up is Oswin the snail. Yes, first of all, can I use my free action to detect what those spiders might be doing? Absolutely. You can make a arcane or intelligence check. I shall use the arcane. Boom. So wow. the spiders <laughs> function as nanobots, uh, giving the fiery fox regeneration. Ooh. Okay. Um, I have an ability on my snail breath, uh, which doesn't have, it doesn't specify if it's an action, reaction, or bonus action. Okay. It's called shell armor. That's an action. That'll be in your action. Okay. Um... He's going to move just five across, and he's going to cast Shell Armor on both um, both Risk and Lumi, oh, which nice. until the end of my next turn, you have plus four AC. Ooh, Ooh. holy and shit. And an advantage on saving throws. Nice. That's yes. really good. Ah, I like this. It's like Dragon Chance, but only more visceral. Uh, next up is Risk. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna start by using my bonus action to use Fox Rush Howl, which will give myself and all my allies, because I'll choose all of us, uh, an extra 10 feet of movement until the beginning of my next round. Uh, and then, can I, uh, Otto's attack, did not did it miss or did it just not do anything yet? He had fired a bolt. Uh, it missed. It missed? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was like a lingering, okay. Um, and I don't need to check any moves, I don't think. Uh, I'm just going to have risk go 5, 10. Uh, uh, that that, that, that would provoke attack. an attack of opportunity. Are you... Uh, you know, that's fine. I got I got really good AC. I'm actually going to I'm gonna allow that. That's fine. <gasps> okay. Um, he does wow. have good AC right now. Yeah, that's true. Well, if he just moves one to the right, then he doesn't get hit. That's it's, true. So where are you going? Oh, well, I'm going to move here. I need, I'm trying to move 10 feet away so I can get a nice attack. Uh, yeah, so he, kind of going here. yeah, so he's going to take okay. the hit. Uh, a bite is is coming your way. Does a yeah, 13 man. hit. It's a miss, isn't it? Yep, because yep, I have 16 right now. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to go here so that I can move 10 feet towards him and box tackle him. Okay. I guess it does. I go like on him, right? Epic. Yeah, you, you, can, you can stay right next to him and it counts as a okay. tackle. Uh, the 18 hits. Ooh. Ooh. And now if I to roll damage, I just, what do I do? Uh, you click the, you actually click the name Fox Tackle and it'll roll the, or actually no, you, sorry, you click the click. attack, uh, next to the number and it'll actually roll the, uh, damage. So the word attack in the oh. chat oh. box. Oh, okay. Yeah. 12 piercing. Whoop. Deals 12 piercing damage as you A charge lot. over and just oh, charge. Yeah. Uh, the fire fox begins to like shimmer away as the illusion looks like it's a it's already about to go down and you just see you just see malcolm go no my precious <laughs> fox something must be wrong with the spell nothing wrong uh and then i think risk is gonna i uh, know that now if i move again i'm gonna provoke another opportunity attack uh no from the spider you would from the spider you would yes but not from the firefox uh i'm just gonna stay put then on uh, my turn Okay. Uh, next up is the sword slug, which will. <laughs> She's just like, 
Al, let me go and show you what this guy can do. Uh -oh. wow. Slug on slug. He moves 10 feet, the cap of his speed. Um, and he kind of, he's like, oh, geez, and starts looking around and he goes, all right, Malcolm, you'll thank me for this. Um, the slug just kind of stands up a little bit as, uh, the, the, its spikes begin to sheen and glow. That same glow begins to cover over the Firefox. I'm so tired of these guys supporting this bastard. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the round, Lumi. All right. Uh, Lumi's going to attempt to bite the snake. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we're rolling trash. It sometimes well, happens. Fuck me. Sometimes That's it. happens. Um, the fox is going to go ahead and look over. Uh, to your familiar, Gideon. Um, and he is going to... Actually, yeah, you know what? Um, Gideon kind of does one of these. He just goes, <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you what a highborn can do. And then he just says, Fox Inferno! Uh, the fox lets out a loud howl. Um, as a blazing, illusionary blazing inferno surrounds the area. Um, I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. What's the range on that? Uh, 60 feet. Saw, 60? Uh, mm -hmm. okay, Jesus. Three, three, you have advantage, so do you, um, Oh, okay, so I'll roll Chris. again. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hey! God for that, Jesus ah. Christ. Uh, you're good. You're still good. Oh, nice. Uh, Gideon. Um, you're good. The only one that's not good is Tremors. Who will take the full amount. All right. Oh, shit. And let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, if you failed the roll, you take seven points of fire damage. If you succeeded the roll, you take three points of fire damage. Okay. And then at that point, you just see uh, the fire fox's flame kind of dim. A bit. Okay. And uh, that was it. Uh, um, the, where were you keeping track of health? Because I have the sheet. I'm just writing oh. it down. Okay. Yeah, I'm writing it down in real life. Uh, you can also select your token uh, and just write numbers over in the green, the blue, and the red. Oh. If you want to go ahead oh, and do that. That's, oh, that's, that's usually what I do uh, with everything. Nice. That's cool. All right. Um, you see that the Firefox begins to regenerate a little bit of its health. What a bitch. Uh, next up is the spider. Hmm, hmm. I suppose an offensive action would do. All right. Come back. And, um, uh, 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 uh. Wait, wait, wait. Do I get attack of opportunity on the spider for that? You, abs you absolutely do. Fuck yeah. Do I, do I as well? It can only one You absolutely me. do. Yeah. Oh, we wow. both do. That's spicy. Wow, yes. Dumb right. spider. It's just any attack or like... Any... Uh, yep. Any 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 attack will, will do. I'm going to try to claw him. I get multi-attack on that. So 21 to hit. That Eight. hits. Fuck yeah. Or slashing damage. Oof. Critical miss. On uh, on Gideon, yep. And oh. the spider shoots at Lumi a a, a beam a, a a laser like beam. Oh God! <laughs> oh dear! Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> you take two points of fire damage. Okay, it's it was on me. Okay. All right. Next up is Otto. Otto will uh. Stand up on his hind legs and point a bony finger at uh at the uh the otter and go. Wait, the otter? <laughs> it's a ferret, <laughs> but go ahead. Sorry. Well, same same idea. <laughs> uh, so, oh yo! Oh, no. oh yay! I forget uh, you're, you. <laughs> you're healed for five, and you have advantage on all attacks. Holy shit! I'm fully healed turn. again. Thank That's you. A Whoa, that's advantage amazing. or multi attack? That's really good. That's good. Um, that's easy. Uh, you can, uh, 
Also, okay. roll a d20 if you can. Roll a d20. Okay. Yes. Healing spells can crit uh, in this game. Oh. Ooh. All right. Um, next up is the uh, the snake, who will once again attempt to bite at. At the ferret. I almost said otter. <laughs> now that's stuck in my head. God damn it. Sorry. Uh, seven. That's a, that's a miss. Nope. Oswin. Um, can I use my, my free action to determine the health of the fox? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. Hmm. Very yes. good. Uh... Yeah. He is down to 8 HP. I'll swim. Finish off the fox. Ah, uh, the mace. <laughs> oh, the mace. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Critical oh, no! Oh, no! That's so embarrassing. Oh, no. Lost. <laughs> Lost it. Oh, I'm so sorry. We rolled like four ones in this. I'm yeah, so sorry. Fuck. I don't know, oh, dude. Dude, your attack that's sounds unfair. so cool, too, because if you kill it, you can use it again. Yeah, that's so oh, cool, dude. <laughs> dude, I have that, too. It's 3d8 plus two as well, so it's like... Oh, it's guaranteed. Much. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's oh. guaranteed if it hits, yeah. Um. All right, risk. Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and use my finale because everyone's everyone's doing that. So I'm gonna call it the risk and say, "Risk, you saber rain!" And every enemy has to make a deck saving uh, throw, DC 12, and they'll take one D8. All I'll right. Hold it. Uh, sword slug fails. Nice. Uh, Clockwork spider fails. Hell yeah. Firefox fails. Nice. Hell yeah. Snake succeeds. Okay. Now for this one, I don't see, I don't see the word attack in the blurb, unless I'm missing it. Yeah, no. So you you would actually slash roll the damage, which I believe for you is one d eight. Three. All right. So oh. ev everyone oh. takes three points of damage, and the snake takes one point of damage. Uh. Hold a second. That's underwhelming. <laughs> Better than Earth and Mace. This is true. <laughs> true. I mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, all right. Next up is the uh, uh, the Sword Slug, who is going to attack with its body against Oswin. Oh, actually, ooh, no. It's gonna move over here. And you see him swing around. Uh, oh, actually. So Jason and, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, there we go. He's gonna swing uh, his body, hitting both Lumi and Risk. Oh, what? no. Nonsense. Illegal. What about the snake? He won't hit the snake. Why? Because he chooses two targets, right? It's a one target plus adjacent in range. Okay. 22. Uh, does a 22 hit you, Lumi? Yes. Ow. And does a 17 hit uh, you, Risk? Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't say that in character. He doesn't swear. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, both of you Scumbag. take five points of damage. Oof, it's a really strong okay. attack. That is a really strong attack. 10 damage? Oh my god. This is not going well. Well, yeah. He's also very slow. Uh, sure. Lumi, it's your turn. All right. Um, you have advantage on all attacks. I have do. Adam. Yeah. Hold on. I'm just reading this really quick to make sure. They're almost long. Right. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, so, Fiery Knife Storm, my finale. It could hit the fox, the slug, and the snake right Ooh, now, correct? Get it. It's within 60 foot sphere, right? 60 foot sphere is better too. Right, in a five foot sphere, which is perfect. I'm five oh. feet away from all three of them. Okay. Correct? Uh, and you did it on advantage? Uh, yep. Okay. What? How? 
Um, uh, in a five foot sphere within 60 feet, targets uh, must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, there you go. There we go. Would, uh, it, would their save be at disadvantage with this or? Uh, yes. Yes, they would. Nice. Here we go. Uh, deck save. Here we go. <laughs> 11, which I think yeah. fails. Uh, you do, you hear the, the slug, the fox, and the snake? Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage. Uh, fails. And the snake. Everyone fails. Epic. They all take 11 points of damage. Oh, Yo, uh, that's and community, I can right? use that's it again. Community. The Firefox puffs out, and you now have regained use of your fiery uh, knife storm. Nice, dude. Oh, wrong. oh good. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. And that's why I'm buffing all the time, and not the rest of you. <laughs> Looks at disappointing other two. <laughs> 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 um and then the snake yes oh yeah you did some real damage oh yeah um all right the clockwork spider goes and you just see uh the war forged hmm seems we're going to need to change my strategy all right then emulate the healy please uh you see the spider begin to eye up Auto over here. Oh. Nani? Nani? <laughs> I need you. I need Auto to make a wisdom saving throw. Come on, Auto. Be wiser than I am. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my no. god! Uh, oh, you begin god. to see the spider. Uh, Wait, that wasn't a saving throw. That was just a normal check. Can I go again? <laughs> I'll allow it. I clicked the wrong thing. I'll allow it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, you see the spider, uh, spider's texture and color changes to a gray like Otto and also begins to look more clay-like. It's actually fleshy tones. Thank you very much. It begins to look more fleshy. Is that is that a better <laughs> visual for you? That's better. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Otto, it's your turn. Uh, he will uh, do a jeering at the spider and uh, <laughs> cast another uh, healing wave at uh, that Oz uh, weasel. Um, <laughs> Barret! Barret. My bad. <laughs> Seven healing. And he's going to basically instruct you to do it again the best way he can, going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I also, You can roll that d20 as well. Yeah, roll that d20. Oh, yeah. All right, you're good. Ooh. Uh, ooh, snake's not looking well. Uh, but bites at the uh at Lumi again. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, 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 uh. Does a 13 hit Lumi? If I still have the buff from uh. No, it's only one round. No. Okay, then yes, it does. Okay. Uh, make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Seven. All right. Uh, Lumi begins to feel uh, weakened. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's that mean? Uh. Poison status effect, probably. You'll have to find out on your turn. Oswin, it's your turn. Okay. Lumi, how are you feeling? Um. I, I think she's okay. I mean, wow. Like, wow. Um, <laughs> can I use my? Uh, let's just use my my free action to check out the snake to see how healthy that thing is. Okay. Um, it it appears to be worse than better, but you don't know the exact amount. By the way, everyone can do this ability that, um, just that, checking. Uh -huh. That's free action, right? Yeah, that's a free action. Nice. And you can just, you can ask things like, hey, what was that move? Or how's the health mm -hmm. of this, this, this character? Nice. Um, okay. I'm sorry about this, Lumi, but it's for the greater good. Frail bass! And then, 
Oh, okay. I have to roll this at disadvantage, but uh, I attack all things around me. Oh, 16 Jesus. disadvantage. Wow. Uh, Eleanor oh, is gonna like glare. Uh, that hits everyone. Ellie just backs up as if it was about to hit her, even though it just completely goes through her leg. Hits uh, everyone? Oh, that hits sweet. everyone, yep. There's the D8 Christ. plus two. Ah, it's only four damage across the. Yeah, that's okay. The board. So all of us take that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be, you, you also take that, let me. Yeah. All right, risk gets your Good turn. Job. Uh, how, what's the, what's the health of the snail? Oh, slug rather. Uh, go ahead and roll a uh, arcana check. Did it. The slug is down to three HP. Okay, I am going to bite the slug then. Okay. I'll go here and then bite him. Oh, I hate everything. God, that is a critical miss. Oh no! <laughs> what happened on Monday too? I don't want to play. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to hug you no. right now, but cautiously and safely. <laughs> Six foot hug. <laughs> Uh, I think I just sadly, uh, you know what? No, screw that. Um, oh. I'd rather provoke opportunity and I'm going to, I'm going to run away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he slashes at you. Uh, I don't know why he, sorry, let me roll that. Uh oh, Ooh. are you kidding me, dude? I literally do not like, this is insane. Uh, 12 points of slashing oh damage. My and my fox disappears. <laughs> no, dude. Why, why did you run? <laughs> I, I got cocky and I did it. Oh. No. Hey, he's going to attack me next turn anyway. You see, yeah. he, uh, yeah, he just begins to, to fade away. Oh, dude. Fear not. We've got this. <laughs> Lumi, it's your turn. Uh, can I try to check the health of the snake? Uh, you can. Roll an arcana check. Not to be that guy, but did the slug get skipped? I think he, he was supposed to be the next. Oh, uh, yeah, the slug did get skipped. Oh, fuck. Thank, Sorry. Thank you for that. No, it's okay. Yeah. Um, the slug, in a desperate act, uh, attempts to attack... Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and attack uh, uh, Lumi. There. Does a 15 hit? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You take like Lumi. 13 oh points my. of damage. Oh. As, he, as you see the snake move up, and as a giant beam blade just begins to hone on top, and it just falls down to the ground That's as weakness. the blade crashes down, hitting here and here. Okay. She's still alive. Oh, really? Yo, Damn. the heels. The heels kept her up. Yeah, the heels. Thank goodness for those, honestly. It's your turn. Uh, so I did that arcana check. Oh, Pardon yes. Me. Uh, the snake 19. is down to th uh, six HP. Perfect. Um, since I got fiery knife storm back, I'm going to do it again. Yeah, you have advantage too. But oh, they have yeah. disadvantage on save. Perfect. Yes. So, dex save. Do I do that as well? No, uh, it's no. just targets, I think. So it's not... It doesn't Very nice. everyone in the area. Uh, you're Sword also... Fail. Oh, you're hitting the spider as well? Yeah, uh, it's an AoE. I could, yeah. yeah Wait, I'll no, I can't. It's a five oh, no. foot spear. Well, so if, if he targets it on the, on, uh, on Joe's uh, slug, oh, yeah, the snail, I could do it would that. hit all five. Yeah. Let's do, let's I can take it. it. You're not going to get hit regardless. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I roll anyways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it looks like one succeeded, and it was the snake. The snake. Okay. All right. Here we go. Twelve damage. Uh, nice. Good roll. The, the slug Ooh. goes down, and the snake goes down. Nice. And the oh god, the clockwork spider is still in in action. Uh, okay. Well, really quick, I'm gonna run. Okay. Back <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just you and me now. Uh, <laughs> the Warforge looks around. This seems to be quite a challenge. Um, I don't know. Go ahead and do the heal. 
and he yeah. emulates the heal of auto oh, on himself. Oh, shit. Wait, I can heal myself too? I didn't know that. Yeah. Target. You're, you can be a target. Okay. Good for him. He heals for three health. And uh, just real quick, we just go ahead and check and see. Oh, so close. All right. Uh, Otto, it is your turn. Uh, Tremor turns to... Uh... Uh, what's Shady's character's name? I'm sorry. Gideon. 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 Uh, Tremor turns to Gideon and goes, <laughs> Sorry about your fox. <laughs> <laughs> Gideon just hangs his head, honestly, because oh. this kid just uh, insults me. Hey, chin up. You'll get him next time. And I cast Second Life. Oh. Otto's oh. finale move. Yeah. Wow. He goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and your Dude, fox reappears awesome. at full health. Fuck yeah. right. Gideon's head is no longer hung and he actually jumps. Just, yeah! Aww. Hell yeah, dude. He's in. And that's it. Oswin. Let's finish this. Flare, <laughs> that flare tendril. Straight onto that mechanical spire. Bring it on. Ooh. You can't hit. Oh. <laughs> That's seven points of damage. With that, the music fades. <gasps> you have won yes. the familiar fight. Congratulations, everyone. Decisive of victory. Decide yeah. everyone's still alive. Yeah, everyone's still alive. No one went down at all. Everyone's no, alive. Very the good. One. Uh, the, uh, um, uh, um, Crotech claps. Ellie kind of like cheers on in a mute fashion. And Shiz was like, what? Oh, man. I'm going to go ahead and get you next time. No, you're not. An excellent fight. Um, and Malcolm. Oh Aleth Malcolm. And everyone's just like congratulating, you know, Emily, uh, Ellie has a smile on her face and Aleth Malcolm. Just uh, begins to to walk by, and everyone's kind of walking by, you know, cheering. And he uh, he kind of looks over at Gideon, closes his eyes, and nods. Hmm. Nice going, Lowborn. Perhaps you're not as a complete waste of a student. And he walks by and goes up. He, he leaps over the stairs and he he, he jumps down. <laughs> DM, I would like him to roll a dexterity save to see if he fucking beefs it. Hmm, I'll allow it. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, no. Gracefully oh, lands. Oh, cool, Kraken. Kisses, kisses two oh, fingers, gives the peace sign as he continues to walk downstairs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel is just absolutely just happy and floored everyone vanishes so Congratulations, what, Nigel. What, what, what did you think did you did you have fun it wasn't bad it's no dragon chess but i enjoyed it well you can't really compete with dragon chess can you now i think i think this has got potential to go really far maybe even become the biggest intellectual property company in all of brisbane you really think that? I do. Call it a hunch. Winks at camera. <laughs> <laughs> Winks at this wizard over here who just kind of shrugs. <laughs> and uh, he looks down and smile, and just you can see a smile forming from behind the scarf. Thank you. Uh, th thank, thank you, everyone. And Shiz is just like, ah, oh, buddy. And he just kind of like messes with his hair a little bit. That was a ton of fun. Even though I lost, it was a poor fight uh, on your end, Al, but eh, I had fun. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you completely whipped it with that attack. <laughs> I whipped everything in the end, I'll have you know. Well, that is that is indeed a true statement there, Al. <laughs> eh, I'm going to get some more of that grub. Uh, 
At least you get one of those sword slugs. They definitely seem like the better anthropod. Have I not? <laughs> it, were, it was really cool, though. He was he was all spiky. No, I didn't he, like it at all. He did much more damage than you. The next That's one's not fight, true my at friends. all. It's dead. Mine's not. Indeed. Okay. I think we found Al's one weak spot. Yeah. The slug? He's very, very sensitive about a snail. The snail? Yeah. <laughs> she, um... Ellie walks by, smiles, and 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 gives a a, a friendly bow to everyone. Uh, Trimmer will wave. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll nod. Back. Eleanor will just nod. Yeah. Mm, it's customary to bow. Uh, to who? I, and I, you? <laughs> I, I I I think she was just trying to be friendly since you don't know the sign, and then she he just kind of like does like a little bit of sign language. Mm. Would you want to teach us? I'm, I'm okay to learn. Sure, I can teach you a few things. Can we go and sit down? I'm getting a little cold out here. Yes. Pussy. And Nigel oh, is no fun. longer friends with Trevor. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, dude. The ship continues to fly for the remainder of the day before arriving over the peaks of the Ishtar Mountains as it passes through the dangerous rocky ranges. Uh, you finally see it beyond the snowscape. The Exodus Academy. Uh, as, as the ship begins to approach and make its landing, it's finally sunk in. You're about to go into an adventure of magical academia. Where the sky is the limit, and your knowledge is limitless. Ladies Dang. and gentlemen, class is in session. Welcome to the Arcane yeah. Academy. And if you look I, on the I, screen, I spit a spitball at the teacher. <laughs> if you look on the screen, yeah. that is the yeah. final yeah. version oh, of, of the Academy. Uh, by our lovely resident oh, RDC so there. Great. Everyone's so cool. type clap. Everyone's type pog, dude. Oh, yeah. Big <laughs> pog. Very that. pog in the that's chat. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. I hope, I hope everyone enjoyed session one. Hell yeah. All right. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to go say uh, goodbye to chat. And then I'm going to chat with you guys in, in like in like five minutes. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good sesh. Good sesh. We will good also sesh. be will be returning next next Thursday, right, guys? Thursday, seven yep. p.m. EST, yeah. four p.m. PST, yeah. where you will actually yeah. be at school classes. Oh, it's gonna be. Ooh, it's, hey, it's, bad yeah. DM. Yes. Chat brought up a question that I also have. Uh, do, do our familiars gain experience from these fights and level up? Um. Or is maybe, what is maybe, the reward system I mean, for winning I battles? I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe. Are you, uh, are you going to be challenging people to familiar fight? Uh, yeah. Otto's a fucking legend. Uh, the familiars will be leveling up with you. Do they That's evolve? Not... Do they evolve? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Can I get a real size pig? Uh, uh, maybe. Now? <laughs> maybe. I'll. I'll have to. I'll. I'll. I'll have to. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> but I mean, maybe that could be fun. I want Otto the size of a of a human. Oh my oh god. And he's I just like, like that. he's flexing, he just flexes <laughs> down on people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll discuss this further. Let's, 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 let's chat on this further. I'm going to, I'm going to say bye to chat now. So thank you guys so much for, okay. for yeah. hanging out. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in a, in a few minutes. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. Be right back guys. Bye. -bye. Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you so much. For watching did you guys have fun today sorry for the 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 rough beginning or not the rough beginning the um the rough uh transition i really wanted to get everyone's stats and stuff on there but that took a little minute so that, that might slow things down I, I do apologize but i hope you guys enjoyed yourself you like the game you're gonna get you're gonna be back next week oh it was so fun i i i absolutely i absolutely loved it let me get some let me get some nice the uh the, the 
get some nice music. I want to read through all the subs that you guys posted. I, thank you guys so much. Everyone was, was, I saw a bunch of subs and I didn't get to thank you guys because I wanted to focus on the game. It's going to kind of be like that. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and uh, thank subs uh, at the end. Yo, 10 to gifted subs from Twitching Pickle. Twitching, thank you so much for that, dude. You really do appreciate that. Um, I, before we, oh, let me go do this. Uh, before we go, I want to let you guys know about our Patreon, where you can go ahead and fund the, uh, the IO campaign series. Uh, we already have a few Patreons before the game even began, and if you would like to know more about, like, the stats of all the familiars are there for something that you might want to run in your own game, I will be posting that over in the level 20 section of the Patreon. Uh, all the rules, all the moves, all the character sheets, all the content that you see in this game eventually will be posted uh, over in the uh, IO Patreon. So if you want to go ahead and run something in your own games, uh, head on over there. Uh, other perks include a podcast uh, where, where I will talk to the players afterwards. That's going to be a completely exclusive Patreon experience. So I'm so confused. Hey, Loop, what? go ahead and watch the VOD, man. Uh, it's fine. When you get when you enter a, a campaign at the end of it, I, I can understand you being confused, dude. But uh, but no worries about that. Uh, so yeah, head on over there. Uh, I want to thank really quick. We had some big Patreons already. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Roy Akur uh, What is it? Roy Yaru Yaru Okami. And I'll, I'll message you how you guys want me to actually thank you uh, about that. Uh, as well as LinkZora57. Thank you guys so much for the, the big Patreon uh, boost with that. Uh, you definitely have been, you definitely have supported a lot of art that's being created for this, uh, for this game. Um, so let me go and thank the subs real quick. Uh, and if you would like to see session two, we'll be back next week, uh, Thursday, uh, at 7 p.m. EST, 4 p.m. PST for session two of the Arcane Academy. Uh, big shout out first to Twitching Pickle for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much for that. Crimson Clark, thank you for the tier one sub for seven months. Uh, yo, uh, Dodger, I don't know if she's still in chat or not. Dex Bonus gifted five subs. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Uh, Dex Bonus, by the way, is going to be in our second IO campaign, which is going to be happening August 1st. The, uh, Misdemeanor, our pirate themed game. Uh, Nigel Artware, uh, a full art of Nigel will be posted to our level 10 Patreons, uh, so you can see, uh, Nigel in, in his full glory. Uh, so if you are a level 10 Patreon, uh, I'll be posting that uh, probably today or tomorrow. So so look forward to it, along with all the other characters that you have met today that Sea Bear has done art for. Uh, Dread Shard, or Dread Shard, excuse me, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 12 months. Uh, yo, Dakarian Osu, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Rag Pack. Karkic, thank you for the tier one sub for 23 months. Ritual Rampage, thank you for the tier one sub and welcome to the Rag Pack. Uh, thank and I think there was more, but they it wasn't recorded. Let me go ahead and and see real quick. And if I didn't say if I didn't thank you about your sub, I do apologize. We've got that. We've got Dreed. We've got Karkic. Uh, we've got uh, Umber Nano. Thank you for the tier one sub for three months. Uh, Ritual Rampage. Thank you for the tier one sub. I think I thanked you. Uh, high, high, high end deuce, high end deuce. Thank you for the tier one sub for 20 months. Uh, Quinster, thank you for the tier one sub for three months. Someone gifted a bunch of subs, and for some reason, I can't see them now. It never popped up. I, there was someone, there was a couple of people that gifted a bunch of subs, and I don't know why it didn't pop up. So I do apologize by that. But, dude, if you, if, for thank you so much. I think, yeah, Isaac, Isaac gifted some subs, 10 subs. Thank you so much for that. And I believe Ice Battler gifted five subs as well. Thank you so much for that, guys. All right, guys, we're, we're heading off. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the post podcast with the crew now. Uh, head on over to the Patreon and you can uh, donate uh, $5 a month if you want to go ahead and list that up. Uh, you could, well, the sessions will both be on the VOD channel as well as the uh, Patreon uh, in MP3 format. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really do appreciate that. Uh, who? I'm gonna send you guys over to. Um, I went down the list. Who's doing what? Uh, I'll head you over to Barry today. 
head on over to Barry is streaming. Give him some love. Drop some Brett you love. Thank you to everyone who, who hung out. Uh, tell him if he says, hi, Brett, how's it going? Tell him I had to go. Uh, but drop some Brett you love. Uh, I'll be back either tomorrow or Saturday for an Ooblet stream. So, yeah. Thank you again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, bye-bye.